I test one too. Good afternoon, star day 2022-11, that's November-19, it is Saturday, it is snowing, it is cold, but uh, it is a good day to play video games. I'm gonna take a little moment here to uh, take a look at something that I kind of forgot about. And I should probably take a look at it to make sure that uh, that I'm not forgetting something. The goals. All right, this one's done. This one is done, I believe. This one is done. This one is not, this one is done. All right, let's see. We are going to attempt to eventually make a do-it-yourself stream deck using a second keyboard. So let's see if my goal is actually... can make it work again here. It's not that one. Put that there, let's change the color. You can actually leave it like, well, let's see. You can leave it like that for now, that's fine. got my water I'll be right back Such a pretty cool.
works. To make my nose disappear. <laughs> well, that could be another trick for it has to be explored a little more. Best can sell us back shortly off. Mine toasters off. Hopefully we'll be able to get into Star Citizen universe today. I did a little test uh um Advice consoles, let's put some music on since uh, since Star Citizen music stopped uh, after we got to the loading screen. I did a little testing earlier, earlier and we did manage, I did manage to get into Star Citizen. So let's hope that. Oh, and our hope, our prayers were answered. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, another thing I want to do. Okay, your friend view is uh, running. Uh, capture and screenshot is running. I want to check if my screenshots, I got your friend view working now. I want to check, make sure that's working. Let's see if it is working. We'll start with a screenshot of uh, this here. Oh, F11 is something in this game. Then I'm going to have to use a different key. Damn, okay. Sound levels. Options, capture screenshot. Let's say, um, it's going to be, um, this one. This one. This one. This one. No. Let's do this. Let's go into the Star Citizen key bindings and see if there's anything that's not bound to something here. Maybe control. That one. Let's do that one. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to get Irfan View to take screenshots of DCS. It was working out with my desktop, but with DCS, it's not wanting to work. Hello, Mort. Yes, I managed to get into the universe. Now I'm trying to figure out uh, screenshots. I have Irfan View installed. It's running. But DCS it doesn't seem to want to 
take a screenshot of DCS and that's really frustrating because I this is a very good game for screenshots and uh, I'm just having a heck of a time uh, to get something to work with this bloody thing I might just have to unmap the F12 I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run Steam and um, and just have that running in the background and add DCS as a gram of the stream overlay. Disable F12 to show and hide the chat in DCS. And, uh... Oh, no, wait. That will work. Let's see here now. Did that work? Yeah, your fun view when, I, when I'm on DCS, it doesn't, doesn't do it. Alright. To hell with that. Let's, uh... Let's quit that. Let's fire up Steam. Let's go back to DCS. I mean, uh, S Star Citizen. I keep saying DCS because uh, yesterday I stopped streaming. I was a little too high. Um, but then I just fired up DCS to try to sort out my controls and my views. I managed to get it sorted out. And I had a really wonderful dogfight of a uh, Fuck Wolf uh, 190 Adora. Really, really, really nice. Uh, I wish I was streaming. <laughs> it made me wish that I was streaming it, but it was a really... Um, just a f it was close and I managed to get the AI in the end but um, the damage modeling is just really impressive in DCS now like how the hydraulics get affected and one of his uh, wheels dropped and um, and uh, just really incredible sound that, that game advanced controls customizations um, social general here chat window toggle Let's, uh, comlink app, uh, I'm going to unbind that. I'm going to unbind the chat window and, and, and the chat window I'm going to put on F11. All right. And, uh, that's fine. I don't have any of my uh, control set up because it's too early for me in this game to set up. Uh, I'm, I'm quite enjoying flying with mouse and keyboard. It's fine, especially with flight assist off. And I have to fly with flight assist off, which is in, in this game is called decoupled mode because there's some sort of bug of my system. I tried I tried to I uh, reset all the control bindings to the default, but it doesn't seem to have fixed it. When I press the C for... for uh, the cruise control it just gives me maximum speed it won't follow where the little square carrot is in the cruise control so i have no choice but to just fly in uh in uh at least if i want to go fast uh fly in uh flight assist off the couple mode that's fine okay so now I, I removed f12 from the chat window toggle and uh now i'm gonna go back return to the game now i'm gonna fire up steam in the background here and i'm gonna try to run have DC uh, add DCS as a non Steam game? I think you can do that, and then I think we'll be able to take pictures of DCS through um, here. Add a non Steam game, it's the bottom left of your Steam um, um, window. Add non Steam game, and I'm gonna find a program, uh, uh, not DCS, Star Citizen. I keep saying DCS, I'm gonna have to play some DCS later. Hopefully of Mort will... I'm going to do some Star Citizen first because I do want to try to fly some of these new uh, ships that uh, are available. Uh, Star Citizen, there's the RSI launcher. Let's see, browse. Let's go to my Gulf external hard disk. Let's go to Star Citizen, Star Citizen live. There's the Star Citizen launcher, bin 64, Star Citizen X executable. I think that's the one. Okay, add selected programs. And um, there it is, Star Citizen. Let's try to take a screenshot and let, with the Steam uh, overlay. Let's see if it works. Oh, I probably have to run play from there. Okay, this is just nuts. How can it be so difficult to take a picture of a game? Let's try the earphone view again, and I'll put F12 there instead. Earphone view, options, capture screenshot, hotkey. I'm going to put F12. 
Uh, I'm telling you to save at uh, Hypertext Hero Pictures Camera Row, which is where I am now. Start. Can't register hotkey. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's uh, quit um, Steam, maybe. Quit Irfan View. Restart Irfan View. And if my Steam, if my stream is dropping off, uh, please let me know and I'll... Well, you, you can let me know, but there's just not much I can do about it right now. I One, one thing that I did do, I ordered a new router, a new wireless Wi-Fi router that's designed to reduce buffer bloat. So I'm going to be plugging that into my wireless internet service provider um, base station. And then I'm going to disable Wi-Fi on that base station so it's only the, the, the cell tower connection. And then I'm plugging over LAN cable this other Wi-Fi router to it that's uh, optimized for reducing buffer bloat. And then I'm going to hook up to the other stuff in the house. going to hook up to Wi-Fi to that. I'm going to keep hooking up directly of LAN as I am now. But my theory is that with the other Wi-Fi, my hypothesis, my hope is with the other stuff that uh, Amber and the uh, phones and stuff connecting to the other devices, connecting to the wireless um router instead of directly to the base station that will uh free up uh the resources on that base station to just provide internet access and not the wireless access that's the that's the idea i don't know if it's gonna work work we'll see can't register hotkey how about uh how about control f12 start yeah, okay. Control F12. Jesus Christ, does it work? Did it work? No, it did not. Let's try Shift F12. Can't register hockey, wonderful. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna unplug this freaking keyboard. I'm gonna get a keyboard of print screen on it, an old PC keyboard, and I'll be right back. to rage I just want to play the bloody game all right I have a dusty Dell keyboard now oh it's very dusty okay that works now let's see if uh, there's print screen Jesus is dusty this later. Hey, Icebird. Thank you, by the way, huh? Thank you. Yes, I tried Airfin View, but Star Citizen, uh, it doesn't work with Star Citizen. It won't, it won't uh, take the picture. It takes the picture of my desktop. But uh, when I'm in Star Citizen, I press the same hotkey, it doesn't save the picture. Uh, no idea. Yeah, thanks so much. No idea why, but... Um, um, Alright, let's see. Screenshots, not there. Screenshots. Okay, now, but I just, what I did is I just plugged in a, a keyboard that has the print screen that actually works. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. It's probably something to do with my system. Um, okay, we'll turn that off. This seems to be working. All right, let's try to find out where the heck this uh, ship meetup place is. Yeah.
Just one more thing, I'll just put this back to its default so I don't go crazy. Um, is it running full screen? Let's take a look. Is it running borderless? So not full screen. Yeah, but it's okay. I just I just plugged in a different keyboard. Uh, maybe I should start using a PC keyboard. Anyway, instead of a Mac one, that maybe that'll help me solve a lot of other problems as well. I think it's my side, Icebird, I, and I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about that right now. Um, I have a new router arriving on, um, on Monday. I'm hoping that that will help, but it's just been uh, my internet. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if it's because uh, it's snowing a lot here right now, so more people are staying at home and they, there's more network congestion in this uh oh we're here again how the heck did i spawn here again in this part of uh in this part of the world where i'm living at um last night it was fine it's so weird i probably should have re uh restarted the router again before i uh Before I started streaming, I forgot to do that. If it's really bad and it's just not working, I'll, tr I'll try to restart the stream in a little bit. But give me one second. Copy that. Is there snow there as well? Nice. Well, here it's, it's a little shocking how much snow has fallen here the last two days. I assume it's a new Babbage, the ship thing. I haven't really looked at it. Uh, let's go to Riker Memorial Spaceport and then we'll see. There's a new little ship in Star Citizen. It's called a Drake uh, Cutter, I think. <laughs> and guess what? Uh, I like the sound of it. I listened to the sound of it watching this YouTube video. So I'm thinking about giving Cloud Imperium Games or Robert Space Industries 15 more dollars in order to change from my $30 Aurora, the only ship I've bought in this game, to the $45 Drake. Uh, what was it? Cutter? No. Is it Cutter? No, I already forgot. I think maybe the Cutter is the really big one. No, it's a, it's the, it's a small little hauler type ship. It looks like a, a Diamondback Explorer. In uh, in Elite, but really nice sound and it has more space in the back, so you can actually carry I think like four cargo boxes. It's more optimized for hauling and uh, and. Uh, and it's quite tanky as well, so you can take more uh, hits. What year is this? Uh, let's take, let's check it out. Let's see if there's something here about uh, the date. Um, and uh, do we have a watch in the 20th whatever century or 30th whatever century this is? Maybe there, we don't even have a watch back then. You know, time didn't is not. Uh, is not uh 
is not of importance any longer. Yeah, I don't have a calendar nor time, Icebird, from what I can see right now. Unless someone knows, uh, what's the price of entry these days? Uh, I think 30 bucks still, Mort. I think the base ones are still 30 bucks, maybe 35 bucks I paid at the time. I think I paid 35. This new ship they just released is like 45 bucks. I've only ever bought like, I think I spent 35 bucks on the Aurora, the basic ship. Um... I have I have been enjoying the game more lately. Less crashes. Um, no beaming like Scotty. I know you always. This is the very frustrating thing about this. I had fallen asleep in my ship, and then in, uh, I had transferred my uh, spawn point to that space station. But maybe because uh, there was a little update for this new thing, maybe they just reset everything again. Let's see. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Want your company to be in good company? My ship got blown up somehow. Plane has been set. Vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Resource sharing and logistical power. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Inquire today to learn how you can invest in making our core your new home. Your vehicle has been Hangar 2. I should take my helmet off, huh? Oh, I'm just running without... Uh, I was just going straight to the... Wait. Too. There we go. The year two nine. He did some googling. Cool. The year uh, two nine or four eight set nine hundred and thirty years in the future. Star Citizen takes you to a time when humanity has sped throughout the stars to dozens of world worlds. Star. The game. I think it was two thousand thirteen. I think it's been like nine years that this has been going on. I think more. No. Yeah. Yeah. Nine years. Oops. Running all the time, no hover boys, nope. They haven't figured out, uh, you know, there's gonna be holes in the lore. Track IR is working. Okay, let me t make sure that uh, I can center it because I'm playing with mouse keyboard now, so I, I'm having to use a different profile for. Uh... Oh, interesting. And now my. I'm going to have to do something very quick here on. Uh... Um, on my track IR before I get going here because uh... otherwise it's going to drive me nuts. Okay, cutter's 45, yep, 45 bucks. So I have, when you buy a, a ship in Star Citizen and there's a no, another one you want, you can exchange the one you have for the other one and pay the difference. So if I was, if I would get the cutter, I could get it for like 15 bucks because I guess I paid uh, 30 for the Aurora. Maybe it was, uh, at the time it was uh, um, a sale or something, I don't remember. Um... Uh, just trying to get to track IR here one second. Um, the pause is going to be... I'm going to put uh, the pause uh, right here. That's pause and that's center. Okay, good. All right. Uh 
Area 18 Space Traffic Control, this is Hypertex Hero. Request uh, departure from Hangar 2 in an Aurora. Over. Hypertex Hero, clear to launch. Over. I just know where the flight ready button is in this. You're coming up. Let's get the heck out of the city. Maybe to save energy <laughs> indeed, Iceford. Let's get away from this planet. I don't like this planet. All cities. Oops. Turning the hang of the camera controls. Screenshot. A planet covered by a city. Currently at uh, 25,000 meters. Climbing. Approaching uh, 900, I think, meters per second, is that it? Maybe more kilometers per second, probably meters. We count the year 2952. My name is Simon the Warrior. This is a logbook entry number. Star day 2022-11. That's November-19. It is Saturday. Welcome to another Hypertex Hero stream sponsored uh, by people like Iceberg for all. More 75 etc. Hopefully you're having a good weekend. Um, I'm gonna soon uh, be uh, plotting a course to wherever this wherever this uh, spaceship expo place is. And we're going to be uh, attempting to rent and fly some other spaceships. Right is height, left is velocity. Copy that, Iceberg. No, left velocity, right is height. In, uh, in this, at least. Now, right, uh, the right-hand side switched to pitch because uh, we're uh, in orbit, I assume. You see Artemis, nice greets, copy that. 
Uh, let's take a look at uh, the skyline. I'm going to do a quick uh, Google search to see uh, where uh, where this thing here. Yeah, no f height is not a factor in this situation exactly. All right. Uh Whoa, what was that? Commodity price alerts? Uh, maybe the width from the center of the universe? Let's set a course to New Babbage. But for, first, let me actually Google it. Um, I know that you can ask other players to come save you. Um, location free fly star citizen. But, um, I don't think there's VATSIM implemented yet. Whoa, whoa. Oops. I turned off the couple mode, ship went nuts. Who is managing all the traffic? Uh, probably Chris Roberts. Maybe one of his assistants. Jesus, what's going on here? Let's just jump. Let's jump the heck out of here. I'm gonna assume it's Microtech. We're gonna set the route and we're gonna go. Almost 60 million kilometers away. Weird. It says I'm not aligned to the target. Is it track I artist throwing me off? Being very confused here. They also have phot photogrammetry here. They got a new telescope. This should, this should get better. Uh, I am pretty impressed by the res by the, these graphics. Actually, um, there's some. I've been learning a little bit about the camera controls in this game, and there's some really nice uh, uh, things. Like for example, I mean, they have it in other games too, you know. But uh, when you zoom in, the, what I really like about uh, games like DCS and Star Citizen and Microsoft Flight Simulator compared to, for example, Elite and IR2 Sturmovic compared to Elite, for example, is this, okay, that you can, uh, that you can, uh, you can look and then you can hold a key, all right, and you can zoom in and it shows a lot more detail. I like being able to zoom in. And it's also an accessibility thing. So if you, you know, it's hard to, to look at something in a computer monitor that's small, like a little enemy fighter. And it's really nice to be able to zoom in and you can see all the detail in some of this stuff here. Um, and uh, I like that functionality in three-dimensional three games. It is pretty awesome. 
All right, uh, here. For example, we can come and we could take a look at uh, this little cannon here. It's quite detailed once you get close to it. The light and everything. So it's quite an interesting, it's quite a, a nice graphics engine this has. Screenshot, traveling through hyperspace. Very particular keyboard controls. Not my favorite, but... Quantum fuel at 75%, all right. Is the star in the background not round because you're traveling so fast? Yeah, I think that's uh, if you, another interesting thing. It's Elite has this too. It has red shift, you know. So what's in front, uh, the, to the right side, since we're going that direction, is blue. Left side is red. And I think you can see a little bit of red shift. That's uh, something from, I think, uh, the real world uh, based on, like, relatively. See those stars on the bottom left there? Uh, they're kind of... Uh, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of artistic license as well, but I like these little details like that over there. Uh, it goes a bit over my head. It's something about the uh, different wavelengths of light, and as they get compressed when you travel at the speed of light and faster and stuff like that. But uh, pretty cool uh, effects. Uh, go up. How do I change the... How do I Z for the positioning? Yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna, it's a very strange view control, this game. Okay, one thing to, to the cannon. If you shoot right now, will the bullet go out in the front or in the back because you're traveling this fast? I don't think you can shoot right now. I can try. But uh, yeah, that's a good question. And I think Einstein, if I remember right, his his first uh, in he started thinking about light and the speed of light and with light had a speed and all that stuff. When he was fifty percent, we're twenty five. I don't know if we're gonna make it there. I think we're gonna have to drop out and uh, and refuel. Uh, let's drop out. Uh, he was walking as a kid. I think in a little town in uh, Italy. He was traveling in Italy, I think. And he... Uh... Can I turn off? Can I get off? When in doubt, just uh, press the power button. Um, and he was in a small town in Italy, and he was walking, and he saw this... Um, he saw a bicycle or something, someone riding a bicycle, and, 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 he, and he was walking, and this thought came to his head. How do... Um, how come... Uh... I forget how it was put, but basically because this is really tricky stuff, right? Uh, how come... Uh, what would happen if uh, the light had a speed uh, and that bicycle was traveling faster than the speed of light? Wouldn't I hit it because uh, I would see it before or after? I don't know. It goes over my head. And, I'm, and I'm, I can't really think of it while playing Star Citizen. I have to be thinking while I'm going to walk in the woods or something. What's the noise? All 
right, we're gonna run out of quantum fuel before we get there. But guess what? Now we're uh, required fuel. We have 239 current fuel. Required fuel is 541. Holy shit. Can I go to arc 4? Yes, we can make it to arc 4. Or maybe uh, Lagrange 4 here. Yes, we can make it there as well. How about there? Yes, we can. Okay. Let's go there. That's good. Have you read a brief, uh, a brief story of time, Stephen Hawking? That was probably the closest I got to understanding uh, relatively, but relatively. But towards the end of the book, I just started going over my head. Very, very difficult thing to wrap our heads around because it kind of flies against the uh, differently from the airplanes we're used to. The stream seems to have stabilized a little bit, right? Maybe. Perhaps. Where's the actual reading for this quantum fuel? Ooh. Oh, there it is. Quantum fuel right there. Hydrogen fuel for atmospheric flight, quantum fuel for um, interstellar, for faster than light travel. Nice. Thank you, Iceberg. Hey, Matt. You want to enjoy Galaxy Spanish Sci Fi? Don't try to understand <laughs> relativity. Underst uh, understood. <laughs> and agreed. Yeah, I'm at 720 times 60, and I'm at uh, 3,000. Uh, bit kilobytes per second of the bit rate i reduced everything due to my internet issues once you realize that fashion light travel is impossible it ruins everything indeed i mean we currently think it's impossible you know but we thought a lot of other things were impossible it, it presents some really crazy problems like what if you what was that conjecture like that what if you get that paradox if you go back in time and you take out uh, your your younger self uh, or your parents or something how could you be there if you weren't born and then multiple universes etc etc but i agree with matt i think it's just easier to pretend it works and and not worry about it too much because otherwise you just uh you might uh, drive yourself a little nuts Another thing I like about Star Citizen, you can actually see it here. You can actually see the planet you're flying to. You see that big ball there we're going towards? It's uh, near, uh, what was it? New, uh, New Babbage, uh, which is a landing place in Microtech. The planet is called Microtech. Uh, some corporation bought the whole thing. And um, I think that's where the free fly uh, convention usually is. Maybe they set it somewhere else now and I'm going on a wild space goose chase. But we're going to drop by and see if we, if that's it or not. But uh, we're running out of quantum fuel. We're uh, almost out. So we do have to park by uh, Mike India Charlie Lagrange point to one here before we continue our journey on to the planetary surface. Over. Two hundred and fifty thousand kilometers to go, two hundred one fifty one hundred 
50, let's switch to outside view. It's some sort of interstellar cloud thingy. Probably asteroids, probably mining operation. And boom, here we are. Oh man, did I... I'm at 32,000 kilometers still. Okay, I stopped before it. It does that. I don't know why. Align to target. Oh. Come on, come on. No, Microtech, the thing next to it, for goodness sake. All right. Found this in a forum, don't know if it's true. Couldn't try it. Um, does Windows read stuff for you? Give me one second and I'll, uh, I'll read it. But let me just plot this course. Shallow Frontier Station. Let's go there. There's other stuff here. Let's try Sh Shallow Frontier Station. Oh, copy that. But I do want to read it. The mechanics of propellant is ignited. Accelerates the projectile. Copy that iceberg. Red. Um, I think there was even a competition about, uh, for, uh, there was a prize given to whoever could explain, uh, basically the exp Eli 5, you know, explain like I'm 5, uh, general relativity. I have to look uh, at the results of that. It's been, a, I think it was a while, some years ago. Mike, India, Charlie, Dash, Lagrange, one shallow frontier station. This is a hypertext hero in an Aurora request docking, please. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Hypertext hero, Wilco, over. This is uh, some frontier station. It's not like the elite one. Uh, they probably have something named after Musk here, but uh, I haven't found it yet. Some Easter egg. Frame rate's a little bad uh, around here. Looking for the, oh, there it is. I think that's the, that carrot there is the landing pad they want me to go to.
gear coming down. Is this the- oh, I'm upside down! <laughs> it's like, what the- there's something wrong here. There, that's looking a little better. It's like relativity, you know. Oh, that wasn't a bad touchdown for external view. Even Sims and 2952 have stuttering. <laughs> Man, I hope not. Uh, center view. Wait. Center view and pause view. That's about it. Let's. Uh, oh, can, can I refuel from here or do I have to. Let's take a look. F4. No, I mean uh, F1. There's a vehicle loadout manager, select ship. Don't think so. Trader. Contracts manager. Maintenance vehicle service. Here you go. Restock, refuel quantum. All right, let's refuel our hydrogen as well. Let's go ahead and repair. There was a bit of a scratch there. Seven uh, future... Uh, Dollars, whatever. Okay, still processing, still loading up the quantum fuel there. It's a Stanton system, a civilians affiliated thing. Okay, we're gonna take off again. Um, you are clear to launch. Gonna have to do reverse here. I'm gonna have to do a reverse launch. There you go. Gear up. Oh! Shit! <laughs> My shield's off? Jeez. Bit of a smash there in the, the top. Got that already smashed the, the, the top there. Oh well. Those are the two little sidewinder missiles you have on the on the, on the ship. You see them? Um, these two little things. They're heat seeking missiles, so they have that red uh, thing in the in the front. Hey <laughs> Ren! I'm in Star Sense. You wanna play? I'm ready. Uh, I think today you said you had work or something. Working on a Saturday, man. Rin, the cats. I think it's cats and potatoes or something. Another Star Citizen uh, player coming in here. Is is a uh, Rin? Question for you: Is, is the is the vehicle rental uh, 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 conference whatever you can free fly vehicles? Is it a new Babbage? Is that where that is? Copy that. All right. Working now. Yeah, for two more hours and I have several hours to play. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to take a break at some point, but then I'm going to come back tonight for sure later. All right. New Babbage. Let's go. Um... Can we see new Babbage? It's kind of obscured. I thought I'd be able to see it from here. Is that it? No, that's the star. Microtech, I mean. 
semi-pro trip where you double click on stuff to zoom in a bit and be able to see the place let's head to port alistar set route Still 4 million kilometers away, so I guess you can't see it that clearly. <laughs> I wrecked the piece of my ship there. So the way I move the camera around like this, I hold F4 and I can use the arrow keys and page up and page down. Learning this stuff. Last night I went to to head, got a horror game collab thing planned for 7 PS, p.m. Pacific time, but I'll be able to play I see from 2 p PST until then. Horror game, huh? It's Phantasmagoria, what was it called? Phasmophobia by any chance? PT, the personal trainer. Poor Tressler, copy that. Hey, Hannah, hello. Hydrates, yes, yes. Welcome to Hannah. Thank you for dropping by here for the first time. Uh, a kind of person in the Futura light. Uh, from the Futura light stream. I see Planner. It'll be fun to see if there's been any updates on the graphics in this place. It's been a while since I've uh, been here. Rune says, I got close, then accidentally got out of my seat and my ship pooped me into my Connie's cargo base. Then in trying to get out of there, I somehow ended up in space about three kilometers from the station of my ship still booking it towards the <laughs> Star Citizen. <laughs> Jurisdiction Microtech. Whoa. Radar lock. Oops. Let's go. Oh shit, take him fire. Shit. Fire him back. There's it. Oh! Are they did did, did, did I smash into him? Hello, Galaxy. I arrived right in time to see me blow up. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to set my spawn point to the other place. Was that an AI? Wow. Is that an AI or is that like a player? I don't even know. So Rin says, then I spent like 30 minutes in my suit getting to the landing pads of the station, got within 10 feet of the door and got a surveyor to kick me out of the game. Oh, wonderful. Oh, look! No, I did... I, I, they did put me back in the clinic. That's good. I don't have to go... I don't have to start at Area 18 again. Look at the way you're dressed when you wake up in the... And you've been... T you've taken a few drugs, you know? So, uh, I think they gave me a few drugs because... Uh, uh, because of this. Go inside your head, they can take a look. Whoa, where am I? Whoa. It just clips. Oh, look at the eye. Oh, weird. 
Okay. My apple a day keeps the doctor away. Close your eyes. Oh, we'll put. I'll rem. I will remember to put my helmet on once I'm in the ship. I promise. <sighs> wow. Want to jump? I worry about the future. I worry about this. You know, there's this author called uh. <laughs> there's this author called uh, Aldous Huxley. He wrote a book called Brave New World. I'll just leave it at that. Everyone's standing at attention. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Next plan of action. We claim our ship, we take off with it, we set a course to Lagrange point one uh, in orbit around uh, Microtech. And once, we, and once we land, we don't just uh, refuel, rearm. Insurance claim has been sent. We, uh... Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. We s go to the medical facility and we set our spawn point to be there. Okay, let's not uh, forget to do that Stand too. By. Brave New World, yep. Vehicle has been delivered to the following Brave location. New World. Wait, where was it? Hangar 2. Alright. Thank the gods they now let put a, the, the hangar on the... On the ship. Switch, Switch Bitch by Roald Dahl. I haven't read that one. I, I really like Roald Dahl. I know his children's books and I really like... Um, I read the second part of his biography about being a fighter pilot in World War II, uh, Going Solo, a really nice book. Whoa, about flying a hurricane. Well, learning to fly and then getting to the Royal Air Force and then uh, flying hurricanes in Greece. You know, a bit of a controversial character, but I like Roald Dahl a lot. I heard he was actually a spy for the for England, I think. As well as, you know, a writer. And his job was to sleep with the uh, with high ranking women uh from the American government. Where are we? Charlie oh Charlie, Romeo, Unicorn Dash, Lagrange 5, Beautiful Glen Station. This is a Hypertext Hero and Aurora in the hangar to requesting departure, please. Uh, probably not, no. I wouldn't call it a good job. It's too stressful. They need a little more of a of initial like strong thruster um like for launches in this game that would make it a little cooler like an elite they do that well Nora broke her star citizen. Hello, Nora. Broke your star citizen insta installer. I had to, like, delete mine. Redownload straight from Robert Space Industries' website. 
and uh, and then it worked. But I couldn't update my Star Citizen for a while because my yeah the the thing was broken. Yeah, zoom view is so cool. It's one of my favorite things about this game and DCS and all those and Microsoft Flight Simulator and all the games that do it. Oh, obstructed, I think because we're in an asteroid field. Try to exit the asteroid field first. Getting some speed here. Oh, I should remember to put my. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's let let the ship keep going. I think we're clear of the asteroids field. I'm gonna put on my freaking helmet before I forget. <laughs> oh, oh, it must be the drugs. Uh, stand up, uh, oh, maybe, oh shit, is it because I'm going too fast and, uh, and the, the velocity is actually keeping me on the floor here? Shit, okay, let's just jump there, I'll, I'll remember to, I'm gonna have to drag myself up to the freaking... <laughs> Come on, get in there. Thank you. This game is such a... Freaking... Oh, I th oh shit. Engines are off. Okay. Get up, get up, get up. Our, our oxygen is going low because I don't have my freaking thing. I thought this would be pressurized. Come on, where the heck is my... Did I not bring it with me? Did I leave my thing? Oh my god, I cannot believe this. Let's get back to the station. Oh god, I'm about to die. I'm at 5%. Where's the station? There. I see lights. Now they're on. The, is what happened here? Is this a bug or or did I leave my helmet in the in the station? Now I'm confused by this. This game is very finicky, but it's kind of what, once it works properly, you know, the finickiness will actually be good because you have to remember all these basically basic things from real life. You know, like put a helmet before you go out in space and stuff, which can add to the gameplay if it's done well. I know, it's weird. I have, I'm at 5%, for, well now it's going 14% air, I think the doors are closed. Uh, I don't know if there's a place here to make sure they're closed somewhere. No, it's, it's closed.
There it is. Let's get close to the station again. Here's my velocity vector. Starting to feel a little woozy. Going back to couple mode. Still have the bug with my uh, cruise control that it just goes to maximum no matter what I do. I've just resigned myself to it and I just fly a flight assist off now when I want to go fast. I'm going to get close to the station, I'm going to get up again and I'm going to try to access my inventory again. If it doesn't let me access the inventory, I'm going to uh, ask for permission to land. I'm going to land and do it there and then we'll be on our way again. Not feeling so good. All right. Oh, here it is. Now I can access it. Whoa, what did I do? Oh my, oh my god, I dropped it! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Star Citizen. Did you see that? I I, cl I, I, I instead of left clicking and right clicking, I misclicked and then the dropped the helmet instead of putting it on. Then the helmet bumped into me and, and threw me out of the ship, you know. Maybe it should be. Well, I am a games tester for this. I paid to be a games tester. It's the future. Oh, first unequip, then equip, and I think I have to leave the, the, the room in order for the helmet to appear. I am putting my helmet on right now. Oh, I lost my freaking helmet in, in the ship. So I'm gonna have to buy a helmet now? Is that what's good? Is that, is that... Is that, is that for real? We're gonna have to buy a helmet now? My aurora is uh, only six thousand meters away. If I can see, this is the this is the uh, emergent gameplay here. Things go wrong, and it's like, well, but maybe instead of uh, maybe I can try to uh, access my aurora. Maybe we can just go on an extravehicular spacewalk to get to it. How the heck do I get out of this medical facility? You should get a helmet undersuit for free on respawn. Got the undersuit. Uh, no, no helmet. Yeah, hey Kit, come back. It would be great if I could tell, talk to her like Kit and Knight Rider. Alright, is there a place to buy... Not only is my helmet not here, but the Aurora is out there. So, I'm gonna try to find a place to buy uh, a helmet in here. Let's check it out. Let 
Let's go to the Galleria. <laughs> Look, a couple of Imperials over here, check. Uh... Things haven't changed much between a uh, thousand years in the future and now. Everyone looking at their, their little c communication devices. You got a stretch redeem. Hi, thanks for coming in. Looks like uh, engines or something, or ships. Maybe she should hydrate too. <laughs> oh. Dear. Alright, I'm not gonna walk in there. That's closed. Our team hasn't finished that one. Yes, this is where we got our guns for our ship. This is food. I uh, don't think I can get helmets here. Let's try to call our ship back. Let's try to see what happens when we try to call our ship back. If it'll despawn there, then maybe our, it'll spawn. Uh, it'll maybe when it it despawns and uh, it comes and I claim it, maybe a helmet will magically appear in my inventory. to jump welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system your insurance claim your has, vehicle been has been moved to our storage facility vehicle selected stand by hydrates your vehicle has been delivered to the following location Nora says the license agreement has a part calling you essentially an unpaid beta tester yeah like you have to click accept right hmm. and you got the game files but closed the launcher during verification because it hogged ram jeez if you manage to um to get in i was very happy to play together and maybe some dcs uh, later today i think more more may be interested in playing as well world war ii dcs if you feel like it nora Double check the hangar. If I manage to make it to Lagrange uh, Station by uh, Microtech and uh, set that as my spawn point, that'll be a successful mission today. If I manage to get to New Babbage and rent a ship, that'll be a double success. Yeah, looks like my helmet uh, is a goner. You got a P-51 on trial? Nice, that's the only plane I have. No helmet for me. We're just going to have to go without a helmet, I guess, to somewhere where... Uh, we're just going to have to make it there without a helmet. I don't know why. It's not in the Aurora. It's not in my inventory. No.
The door is closed. Maybe I can get to my body, but I can't do extravehicular activity because I have no helmet. Charlie, Romeo, Unicorn Dash, Lagrange 5, Beautiful Gland, Station, Space Drive, Control, Hypertex, you once again requesting for takeoff, uh, takeoff clearance, thank you. Sit. Oh. oh, your dad's the it's like the SLR, right? Let's take a look at it. Is it the one you used to use? No, no. Mm -hmm. It's film. Yeah. There's a lens on it. Let's take a look at. It. There's no film in it. Yeah. Oh, we should uh take the the rest of the pictures and develop it. Yeah. It'd be a nice good. surprise. We can bring in that's a good idea. Yeah. Good. I probably have to check if there's batteries in it. On an old yeah. camera here, people. Nice. They're it's all ready for him to come. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Let's get everything set up for the guests. <laughs> the drugs they gave this poor uh, avatar in the uh, in that. Uh, uh medical facility that i spawned uh, they, they kind of maybe had done some permanent damage here uh oh shit you don't want to do that well, that's funny you can turn the engines off while you're in quantum travel and uh, it's okay While that's happening, I'm gonna do a quick uh, track IR thing.
far away can we move away from this ship? Not that far. Nice that they have the starboard light. Six million kilometers to go to uh, Lagrange Point One. We're gonna land there and we're going to set spawn point. More pens, huh? Journal updated commodity price alerts. And disable individual thrusters, that's pretty interesting. I don't know what the use will be, but uh well. Oh yeah? And you have to put push. It's a freaking snow drift in front of our front door. It's snowed so much the last twenty-four hours. On a mission to uh, try some ships, on a mission to reach New Babbage. First, we're going to uh, land here at the space station and set our spawn point over here. Thank you very much, because we don't want to get blown up by another player ship or or a uh, AI, whatever the heck that was that blew us up. Oh, watch out. Truck are starting to get confused here. Mike India Charlie Lagrange One Shallow Frontier Station Hypertext Hero in an Aurora request docking, please.
Easy goes it. Always come into these things upside down. One of my favorite scenes in 2001 Space Odyssey is this, uh, it's, it's quite a short scene, but it's like this, the spaceships lining out to the station. All right, and we're down. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Still no helmet. Let's go to the lobby and let's find a medical bay to set our spawn point over here. Whew. Oh, whoa. Out of security. Medical clinic. Just like going to McDonald's in the States if you go to those places, uh... You don't talk to people, you just you just look at the at, at the your screen. Room nine. Room eight. Room seven. The heck is room nine? Room five, room six, room seven, room eight, room nine. Here it is. All righty, regeneration. Current location. Done. Well, let's hope that there's a place where I lost my, uh, regenerate into a food. <laughs> uh, it would be lovely to have, uh, some lasagna right now. now had a wonderful pizza. Amber made, uh, pizza taglio. Still stuffed. Helmet, please. Okay, mission accomplished. Um, mission one accomplished. Set our spawn location here. Mission two, find a helmet. Mission three, get to the. Uh, get to the. Expo. Trading and shipping console. Can I f can I buy a helmet through this?
There's waste. No, thank you. Rest and relax. Mind the step. Oh, here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to find a helmet over here. Is that a sword? Oh, janitorial stuff. Wow, scrappy place. You don't need a helmet to get the exo, but you can't do it here. You have to... Cool. Copy. Thank you, Rin. Category. Uh, miscellaneous? No. Undersuits? Subcategory. Oh, okay. It's going to be armor then. Wow. I don't want to look like a robot, though. Nothing against robots, but I just want to look like one. Venture white helmet. Uh, Venture core dark red. Venture helmet green. Let's just do a Venture. We'll just get the green one. That's fine. Go. And uh, might as well, I think we already have armor, right? Or did we lose it all? So let's go, uh, let's go all out with green. We'll get by that. Uh, we'll become a green echo warrior of the future. What is this thing? Oh, backpack. All right, let's take a backpack. I like backpacks. You can bring a bunch of stuff like a picnic, a bottle of wine, uh, you know, a towel. Uh, Swiss Army knife, some magic cookies, bag of chips, uh, etc. Compass. You have like legs things, something for the legs. Oh, here you go. Is this legs? Did I? I don't think I got the legs, right? How about boots? Is boots something separate? I think it's part of this. I didn't see anything about boots here. Links. What is this? Combat armor. Right. Oh, field renic recon. That's kind of a cool sort of like uh, change man or, uh, or power rangers type thing. But I think I'm just going to stick with the other one that I had. Uh, I'm, I don't see any other thing. So this is good. I think this is fine. How come I can't put on the backpack? Oh. Interesting. Okay, so it does affect movement. I don't know why I can't wear this backpack. Mm. Okay, let's read it. Yeah, read the damn manual, right, uh, Hyper? Be ready for any situation. Medium backpack, does that mean that I can't, uh, that my armor is not compatible? Oh, that's light armor, and I need a, I need a, a light thing. Got it, alright. Light armor, light as I guess this is all light over here, right? Let's see, this kind of looks a little bit heavier. Nope. Maybe this whole shop specializes on only light armor. Yeah. Flight suit. Yeah. Oh, there's there's another uh there's another uh another page. This is pretty cool. Yeah, this is all light armor again. Renegade helmet tactical. Odyssey. Oh, that's a pretty cool one. Light suits. Uh, light backpack here. We'll put a light backpack instead. 
We'll just get this nice red one. We'll buy that. Insufficient space. Oh, let's sell our other one. Sell, uh... Uh... Mac Flex Core Green, is that what it is? Armor, backpacks, it doesn't show up. Okay. Destination thing, alright. I'm such an idiot, or well, the interface is a bit uh, tricky as well. Destination, choose source. Frontier Station, there you go. Quick sell. Alright. I mean, it's tricky, you know, to develop a game, the whole world and the interface at the same time. Tricky to do, so I understand. Alright, let's do uh, this. Here we go, light backpack. We'll just get this one. I'm not going to worry too much about what it looks like, what it is. Uh, let's just try to uh, get ourselves equipped here. Fully equipped. Boom, and look at that. Now we have a nice little futuristic little jetpack looking thing. It looks like a jetpack. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Do I save again to save all this stuff? Or do I just, can just get the heck out? Weapons. Oh, I don't have any more weapons because I think I lost them. So might as well uh, get some weapons since we're here. You have plenty of space, but you were trying to stick your backpack inside your chest. Please copy that. I was like, <laughs> doesn't fit, you know. Cruise looks. Uh, give me two of those. Three. Thank you. I don't know what it is, but I'll drink it and uh, close my eyes. Ready meal vegetarian, sure. Let's buy uh, two of these. What else? Uh, category. Personal weapons. Uh, personal weapons. Uh, let's get the boneyard rifle. Quick buy. Insufficient volume. Oh, did I just did I buy it and uh, and it wasn't fast enough for me to see? Negative. Destination backpack? No, destination. Uh so confused about this. Buy. Insufficient volume. Okay. Attention user interface de des designers everywhere. Not just video game designers, but user interface de designers everywhere. Please. When you're designing a user interface with uh, several levels that you dig into, always, always put a back button on the top left, okay? Put a back button on the top left. I don't care if it's an arrow, I don't care if it says back, I don't care if it's like a little breadcrumbs. Please always put a back button so I can go back. Instead of having to close the whole thing, click again and go. All right. It doesn't fit in my backpack. Can I put on the core green maybe? Change the destination to your ship or the station. Okay, so, so okay, the station, uh, the, okay, so the station is basically my inventory here. Copy that. Thank you, uh, Rin. All right, we got our rifle. All right. It would be nice if there was a sound to this and pling, and a few little stars and little sparks and, and happy a happy sound played. They have to hire, like, I don't know, some combination of Brian, you know, and the Bee Gees. P4AR, Bone Rider, pure for magazines. We need ammunition. Um, let's buy a few, quite a few clips for this thing. Let's buy like 10 clips of ammo so we have 300 rounds. All right, we got those. Smart buy. Thank you. 
Uh, grenade launchers, suppressors, wow. Okay, let's uh, see. Shotgun. Let's get a pistol. Oh, let's get the med pen. Some of those. I think you're going to be happy with that. Glad there aren't any ex-military people paying attention in here. <laughs> Yeah, they're a little bit uh, sleepy on the job light. Arc like midnight pistol. Let's do it. And let's uh, arc like midnight pistol. Arc light pistol battery. 60 caps. Oh, is that like a. Here. 30 meters only? Wow. Okay. It kind of looks like the Blade Runner gun. That's pretty cool. The original Blade Runner gun. Plasma cell for Klaus Werner arc light pistol. Okay, so fire of plasma. Whoa. We'll take uh, 10 clips of this as well. So you have 300 rounds for that as well. Or more. Like we have like uh, 600 rounds, I guess. Smart buy. Thank you. Uh, sniper rifle magazine. They have sniper rifles here? Submachine guns. Devastator shotgun. Arrowhead sniper rifle, gallant boneyard rifle, frag pistols. Wow, they have a lot of guns in this already, don't they? Submachine guns. Uh, I like Coda pistol. What is the Coda pistol? It looks like a six shooter. It's a freaking six space six shooter here. It tends to get spicy when you call magazines. Or ammo clips if they're around that is oh like they get upset that, that they don't like military people get upset that uh that i'm not using the right terminology is there something like uh, when you say uh, i'm with you in uh, air traffic control copy that i have not done any fps missions nothing zero It'd be fun to do it one later if you want to lead me oh let's take a holographic site And, uh, I didn't see the sniper rifle. I don't know if they have it here, but, uh, let's, let's just leave it like that. That's fine. I want to get to the freaking place. I'm going to press AI. I. I'm going to... Can I not equip it? All right. How do I equip the magazines? Equip all. Ah, here you go. Dragon drops the backpack. The holo thing will put in the gun. Nice. It's cool that it actually appears on the gun straight away. That's pretty cool. This thing will equip. Alright, we have all this stuff. Uh, let's go. Let's hopefully I can make it to the planet's surface now. All right, if I die of all this stuff, I lose it all, right? So, uh, that's the risk. I could leave it all here. All right, maybe I will leave it here. And here's another question, right? If I, if I, let's say I go to the hangar, okay? And I'm about to get in my ship. And I remove all the stuff and I just throw it on the ground. Does that automatically put it in this station's inventory or do I lose it? Does it stay on the ground there in the... In the, uh... Stays on the ground. Alright, so, so to store it here, I have to, like, uh... That was a fancy sign, wasn't it, Nora? Uh... I have to, like, put it in a, a locker or something for it to stay in the station. Like, in my personal locker and the uh, easy hab. 
Oh, oh no, it's just in the inventory. So basically this, if I drag it and drop it here, then it stays in the shallow station wherever I am. Got it. Thank you, Rin. I can't do applauses right now because I'm using a PC keyboard instead of my usual Mac, which has... My PC keyboard has less keys, but the print screen works, so I can do uh, photographs. That's why I'm using the PC keyboard. And, um... And that's what's going on here. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Oh, we're in Hangar 3 still, okay. Are we in Hangar 3? Yes, we are. And that's my dead body far over there. My helmet's probably there. <laughs> All right. I don't care if I lose the weapons. I'll just buy them again. Well, actually, it's not... I do care because it'll, that'll take time. So let's... Let's bring three, three of the. Let's leave the 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 assault rifle here, okay? Yeah, let's leave the assault rifle here. Let's leave uh, a couple of these here, and that's fine. We'll just take our pistol. We'll just take our sidearm, and. Um, this is the in uh, the shallow frontier station, and let's try it finally to get back to. Jeez, it is so. It's more snow coming. It's more snow coming, people. It's just nuts. I think I have to do a clap emote. I think I have to do a good vibes emote. I have an emote left or a couple, but I think I'm thinking about changing some other ones that don't get used a lot. Mike India, Charlie Dash Lima 1, Shallow Frontier Station. This is Hypertech 01 and uh, Aurora and Hangar 3 request. Take off, please. Let me show you how it looks outside. It is snowing not only in Microtech, but here. I'm pretty sure there will be snowing in Microtech, uh, maybe not continuously, but it is snowing here in Hypertech Zero HQ. Your younger days, Rin? Oh, yeah? Where are you now? California or something? Man, I have not experienced weather like this before. I am an amateur and I'm a little concerned about it. Arizona. Cool. Did I... I've been to the Grand Canyon. Actually walked down to the bottom. Took about eight, nine hours. Then I slept uh, one night in the campground by the, Colorado, by the river there. I think it's Colorado River. Then it took two days to get back up and I uh, slept in uh, Bright Angel Campground one night because it took like double the time to go back up. That was a fun trip. Um, I want to visit that boneyard in Tucson or Tucson like I like calling it. Or Tucson, Arizona.
was a new um standby. Let me do initiate this jump and then I'll get back to chat. Is it the wrong spot? I'm a little confused by this. There. Calibration around 100. Spooling complete. Hold B. Boom. Rin says, uh... I've been to Grand Canyon a few times, but never to the bottom or across it or anything. He did throw a snowball off the edge and accidentally hit someone that was doing the trail right down the side thing. Wasn't even aware they were there until I heard a yelp and swear. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> I kind of feel like having a snowball battle. I don't know if Amber will be very happy if all of a sudden I, I go and, and throw a snowball, but... Uh, um. Phantom fuel is full up, hydrogen fuel is pretty much full up. Uh. Seeing power low for some reason. I don't know why my this power low light is on. Is this is uh, weapons, engines, and shields. Let's put it a bit more to to engines. Enter jurisdiction microtech. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah, there's this aircraft boneyard that I want to visit someday. That they mothball a bunch of fighters. F4 Phantoms, F16s, all that sort of stuff. I've flown over it in Microsoft Flight Simulator before. Is that new Babbage right there? Empty data center. Let's hope that no one's around. And let's quickly set us course to new Babbage here in Microtech. Here we are. Route set. Bunch of puffy little clouds down there. That's nice. Frame rate uh, went to hell a little bit. And here we are. Is that the spaceport? 
I think that's the spaceport right there. Maybe not though, because there's a... Oh, there it is. That's the spaceport. Whoa, atmospheric flight is very different. Grown since I've last been here, it looks like. Flight assist is on. New battery, space traffic control, or atmospheric flight control. This is, uh, I protect your request landing, please. He thinks your ship may be somehow damaged. Try turning off your weapons. Maybe if you're having issues, that should show your power issues. Copy that. Uh, turn off weapons, is that a, a, a P? There, weapon systems are off. Yeah, when I press C... It goes to max power, it doesn't obey the... It doesn't obey the, the little cruise control thing. I have no clue why. Uh, I mean, I've respawned the ship several times before, it's just... Weird. Frame rate's not good here. Oh, another ship here. Looks like a player ship, perhaps. I supposed to land uh... yeah I don't know why it says power low yeah oh there we go well soon hopefully we'll be able to try a different ship Wow, the frame rate's bad here. Origin day today? All right. And basically you rent it and you can fly it for like, uh, to the end of the weekend for a week or something? Or do you ever, then when it's a different day, you just lose it? Gear down. Oh man, I did miss Drake Day, huh? That was yesterday? No service required. Copy that. Yeah, I tried to get in yesterday, but I couldn't uh, during the stream. The the bad frame rate in these stations do drive me nuts. Here, can I can I set my spawn point here? Lie down. This is an emergency only. No, lie down. It's an emergency. I want to set my spawn point right here. Oh. I guess not. Can't do it here. <laughs> it has to be at the medical facility, huh?
Aeroview hangars, new Babbage Interstellar spaceport. Aeroview hangars, new Babbage Interstellar spaceport. I did a character reset, so I will be spawning there when I get it in about in about an hour. All right. Basically, the lead to your life folder. Nibis terminal. Is the is is the uh, the expo at the starport? I assume it's around here. Let's see if there's uh, there's a sign for it. Oh, it's not? Okay. So I'm going to go to the Metro Loop. I didn't press any button, it just did it by itself. Yeah, frame rate's so bad in these places. Stop that. <sighs> Bust. Commons. Aspire Grand. Toby Expert Center. We are new Babbage, so we come in. Let's go to either one. Commons, all right. Oh! Medical gown. Whoa! Jeez, a little loud. I better turn that down. Is that too loud for people? If you chair, thank you so much for the raid, man. Um, I've been trying to get, uh, you know, I'm on a mission to get to the new Babbage uh, Expo Center to try one of the ships here in Star Citizen. Uh, free fly weekend, I think, or maybe it's week, I don't know. I sent some messages in the Discord about our Arma anti-Stasi setup yesterday. I think we, we forgot that, well, I forgot. I had forgotten that we can't put whatever mods we want. It has to be a certain set of mods. My pleasure. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Um, hope you're well. You're coming in with Future Light. You've probably been here before. If not, I call myself Hypertext Hero due to an excessively idealistic uh, uh, youth that I thought I could be a Hypertext Hero making websites. But then late, uh, later I found that uh, I prefer to play video games and give uh, the name Hypertext Hero to my video game uh, avatar that plays video games using other, other avatars. My current avatar is this lady here. Her eyes look a little strange because uh, she uh, got killed a few times, respawned in this medical facility, and I think they gave her some, some really strong stuff that uh, had some sort of seemingly permanent effect on her facial expression we are trying to find where the bloody uh 
a space. Oh, this is the commons. I don't think it's here. The bloody space uh, expo facility to try one of these ships. Later, we're going to probably play some DCS, maybe some armor. We'll see. Fog says, uh, it's just says Fog and I managed to take the factory like six, at least six times. They keep on sending QRFs and counterattacks. Yeah, you won't be able to. It's pointless to try to take it and hold it in the beginning, Futura, because. They're too strong. You have to do hit and runs just to get weapons. In the beginning, I would... Uh, I mean, it's not pointless, you know. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll make progress by taking out the enemy, but they're very strong in the beginning, and it's, rather than try to hold a place, it's probably better for you to... Uh, it's probably better for you to uh, do hit and runs and then do missions for a while. And take a resource. I mean, it's not pointless. Maybe if you can hold the factory, it's good. But it's very hard in the beginning to hold anything until you have more uh, HR and you can train your, your AI better and then you can garrison some troops there, etc. Oh, they killed Petrus too. Yeah, it's a tough. For me, Antistasi in the armor series is the toughest, uh, the toughest mission there is. Especially with few people, you know, and without uh, uh, the AI, help, AI helping you, it's tough. Almost stayed at the S bar grant. That's not where we're going. But um, but you can keep going with the as as it is. If you want to play with those other mods, we could uh, we could restart it. You know, but I do think you have to restart it. Oh, that's annoying. I've had that bug not just in anti stasi but in other. I think it's a general armor bug. I've had it in. Uh, in uh dynamic recon ops which is a really nice mod uh i've had another thing so uh, it's uh the the hard thing about that one is that sometimes it happens sometimes it don't doesn't you know <laughs> very frustrating the capsule will be leaving the station wait where this oh sp wait spaceport wow Oh, maybe it is at the Aspire Grant, this bloody thing. We can't, we can edit on our own, but it'll be a lot of work, you know. I don't know if you enjoy editing text files, but... It's probably better to just take what they give you, and... Um, and one of the defaults, I think, is RHS US for RHS Russia, or... Something like that. I kind of want to do one that you don't fight NATO, that you fight uh, some other faction and uh, and Russia or something. Here you go. Is this it? Expo Center. There you go. Oh, it's the Metro Loop. Okay, that's this is for the Expo Center. Okay. Yeah, the. Th because I, I don't know, I prefer not fight the NATO. I, I want to fight, like, uh, someone using British weapons uh, and some... I don't know, because I've, I've always fought them, you know, and they... And just to change it up, it's always NATO has the whole island in the beginning. And so we spend a lot of time fighting them until CSAT comes in. Um, but it's up to you. Your show, man. Uh, it was a lot of fun yesterday. I did one clip of us getting that chopper, the Lynx thing. And I'm cool playing with default weapons too, but it, that is up to you. And thanks again for the raid. You're probably tired, so don't worry about hanging out or anything like that. Uh, get some rest. Uh, make sure you're well rested. Happy Saturday. Our show. Okay, let's let's leave it our... Let's make it our show. That's fine. But... Um, yeah, our show, that's fine. I've been streaming for two hours. Um, about to get to the Expo Center. I want to rent a ship and then I'm gonna take a break and come back later. What always bugs me in Star Citizen and these Expo stuff is the frame rate is terrible in these big cities and stuff. So I wish they would just organize the Expo in like some remote location where the frame rate's good. At least they sped up the speed of these things, I think, at least. These mag 
left trains. The capsule will be leaving the station momentarily. No, oh, interesting corridor. The war at home. Red for the main uh, color scheme. A uh, little bit. Uh, Is the lobby where I was just at? Copy that. I'm gonna power down the gear. Jeez. The logo, that logo for this uh, expo is uh, the, basically the Atari logo. Yeah, let's try, let's check this bitch. Jesus, loud this place. Let's rent this ship. It's a little too big. Maybe. But hell, we're gonna check it out. How do I rent it? Where's the terminal? The Corsair. Big hangar bay. I just want to click a button that lets me rent it. Perhaps here? Oh, I just aimed at the ship, okay. Why can't I aim at these and select them? Well, let's rent that one. Hey, Shippa! 07. Happy Saturday. Don't know how to rent these Corsair things. I paint, point at them, but they won't let me uh, do anything. Oh, here. They're just bugged out.
We just dungeon mastered an eight hour session of colleagues and my cat. Wow. Like work colleagues? Oh, here you go. That is a long session. We must be tired. What, what, uh, Dungeons and Dragons? What was it? Okay, I rented these. Let's get out of here. Cool. Sounds like fun. I've never done a Dungeons and Dragons. One day, I would love to. I got really stoned to a dun dun Dungeons and Dragons uh, session. Oh, look at this little truck thingy. Yes, please. I want a little funny Lego looking truck thingy. Dependable workhorse for all sorts of loading and hauling jobs. Plain and simple, nice. Wonder if one of these fits into that new Drake uh, cutter or whatever that new thing is called. All right, rented one of those. Anything else down here? I have the hover bikes. Might as well rent one of these as well. This frame rate stabilized a little bit. Still bad. Let's get the heck away from here now and. Um This is the big carrier that they put for sale for who knows how much money. The Kraken attack carrier. Scotty, beat me up to New Babbage Spaceport so I don't have to walk all the way back there. Shippo says, my colleagues decided to kill every last villager I made. Silver mystery by wiping out a great dwarf village by trapping them in a cave. And because they didn't want to fight past them, decided to leave the hostage in the cave without saving and just collapsing the cave entrance. <laughs> wow. That was a group decision? Dude. Cages for all that. Did it involve a uh, beer and uh, magic? Your colleagues are dark. Does it come with being? Is it you know? Is it like a post delivery work? Here, I'll get one of these as well, Sheep. I think that you have one of these, right? Here, let's rent rent this one. Cutlass steel. Get the heck away from here now. One, two, jump! Oh, Drake? So, can I rent the new Drake? The... Can I rent the Drake, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the one cut cutter or something? The new one that costs 45 bucks? I'm thinking about... Selling, uh, spending 15 more dollars, sending 15 more dollars to Robert Space Industries and, uh, and Cloud Imperium Games to, to, uh, to change my Aurora to, for that little space tugboat looking thing. I don't know if it's worth it. Wow, look at that. I looked at jobs at Cloud Imperium Games, but apparently you have to live in Austin, Manchester, Austin, Texas, Manchester, UK, or, uh, oh, here it is, yes, we can, or, uh, this is the new one that just released, it's a new starter ship, let's check it out, definitely rent this one, uh, or, uh, where was it, somewhere else in Europe, I think Frankfurt or something, 
Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing this game. Maybe I should start. Maybe they should pay me to be a tester. Although, it, you know what they say about doing something for fun and then having pain for it? Maybe it won't be as fun anymore. The heck is this thing? Let's rent all this. It involved ordering food because he went way past the planned times times two and basically some orange juice, tea, and apple juice. Nice. Okay. So keep it kept it calm and cool. This is the vulture. Whoa. What a crazy. This is some mining thing, huh? Corsair. Yeah, I think I, I, think I managed to rent it. The giant thing. Uh, salvaging. Oh, cool. Wow, this looks like a proper... A proper... Pure business type thing, huh? Yeah, not my type of ship. Uh... I want more light. This is my type of ship. I think I think I like the look of this thing. There's another thing over there. Let's take a quick look inside this. Maybe we'll be able to fit that a little ATV here or a little golf cart. So it has the back. It has a bed. It has, I think, a weapons rack somewhere around here somewhere. Oh, here you go. Yeah, you can, you, you can, you have a little inventory space. And here's the cockpit. Petrus said, uh, if Rin says, Capture the giant, giant one, copy. I think I rented that one too. And not sure who ripped who off, but that Vulture's 100% copy of the Vulture uh, from EVE Online. Well, definitely Star Citizen. I mean, they've, they are, you know, they, they're always uh, taking ships designs from uh, other games that inspired them, I guess. So they have, uh, this one, for example, reminds me of Diamondback Explorer, this little thing here from Elite. Oh, look, has a little spinning computer fan. Look, Fitcher has a spinning computer fan here. And Fitcher says, I think Cyberpunk 2077, might have grabbed a couple of design inspiration from this game. Some themes kind of remind me, like music or like a visual themes. Yeah, this game's, I mean, this game's still a demo, but it's been going for a while, you know. I mean, they keep raising money. I like the MFDs in this. Yeah, I quite like the feel of this little ship. Let's go fly it. I wish I could just take off with it right now, but no, we have to go all the way back to the starport now. Visual themes design, copy that. Yeah, I think a lot of these guys, you know, that... That uh, played Blade Runner, I mean, play, watched Blade Runner and grew up around this, this same era and are sci-fi fans. See, that's, a, that's totally an Atari logo right there. The logo for the... That's totally the, inspired by the Atari logo, I think. You know, fans of video games, of spaceships, of sci-fi. Look at this thing. I think I've flown one of the Buccaneer. I think I've thrown one of these. Uh, I've flown one of these before in one of these uh, rental things. And what is this? This looks like a little... Herald, Herald Square, New York City. You can go to Macy's and buy some clothes for expensive price. Uh, uh, you can watch the world go by, people crossing the streets back and forth. Yeah, this one looks like a DBX, come on. This looks like, like a, a, a Diamondback something as well, but this one totally... Yeah. It's a mini gun thing on the bottom. 
MF, you don't like MFD. <laughs> it's not too much DCS. So DCS has... Has maybe... Uh, maybe made you hate AFDs forever. Future... Look, looks like Grant in armor. Oh, not really. All right, one, two, jump. Harold's made for data running. But yeah, but there's a game loop. There's nothing game yet. Copy like uh, is that Keanu Reeves uh movie that? He was a data runner, they, like, in order to transfer a lot of data, they would plug it into his brain, and uh, Johnny Mnemonic, ever seen that movie? That's a classic. Johnny Mnemonic of Keanu Reeves. God, I want to get out of here. It's almost like going to a real conference. I want to get the heck out of there. Go to the bar or to uh, eat some food and get away from the massive... Uh, the, all the sounds and the, and the loud music and the advertisements being like stuffed down your eyeballs. Plugging data into brain to create your data sounds like a cyberpunk's plot. That's funny, and Keanu Reeves is in cyberpunk. I've been thinking about reinstalling that and trying one more time now that it's had time to... Hopefully iron out a lot of the bugs and, uh, whoa. All right, Metro Loop. Want to jump? Should I have gotten a shirt? Medical gown? Yes. Careful, doors are now closing. Hey Futura, cave in to your craven. Whammers. Always a good time. 2801 found it in 2801 you can go have a bacon cheeseburger at whammers cave in to your craven now if you're feeling a little more uh you know like you've been eating too much meat lately you can just go to garcia's greens and uh get some uh farm to table fresh greens uh Direct, deliver directly to your door and this is I have not started a sponsorship with uh, what was it farm fresh choice uh, they're direct to fresh I forget there's some there's some company that wants me to sponsor them during the streams um, I always I always forget I always start the setup and then I get distracted and I forget to complete it and uh, so I haven't done that yet maybe I'll try it at some point it's a green logo as well, I think. That's why it reminded me of that advertisement here. What else do we have? We have a... Uh... Oh, it's all food. You know, food is good. Twin sandwiches. Also looks like some sort of... Uh... It looks like a Noita hill that you're going down and it's a little bit of... Uh... Yeah, I think if I had... If I was hungover, I would have to choose... Whammers. I think there might be one more though. Let's see. We have also oh Elroy's. No, if I was hungover, I'd go to Elroy's because I like the coffee. I like the little mustache and he has the little ooh happy eyes. Established 2,893. So that's a little later than uh, Whammers. That's 2,081. No, actually, yeah, a, li a little later. But it looks kind of friendly. Maybe we could get like a full American or English breakfast there, you know, some bangers and mash, some uh, eggs, uh, hash browns, uh, sausages, bacon, toasts, maybe some pancakes on the side. 
Peter says, speaking of bugs, I've been told stairs can kill us in this game. Stairs, uh, doors, uh, elevators. Oh! There. There you go. Fuck. The fuck? Wait, where am I? See, wrong door freaking opened! The fucking door to the wall opened. <laughs> I'm just waiting green supplier to get set up on Amazon Groceries called Wind Windward Farm. Oh, well, that's going to be a... <laughs> sure, don't, sure, please don't... Don't jinx me, I've been trying to f try one of these ships for the past... Almost three hours, we're at two hours, 43 minutes. Am I going back? Oh, fuck. Now let's just get out and go to the side. I think we need an Elon Musk here in Cloud Imperium games. You have to get everyone to say, all right, I do not ever want to run into a bug where... Let, let's make it quick to get into ships and to fly the ships, people. Priority number one. If you don't believe in that mission, uh, leave. If you... I mean, I don't know what the heck's gonna happen there. Be probably better not to go there. Capsule now approaching station. Stand clear of disembarking passengers. By the time you got the expo already being colonial of the seats. <laughs> I mean I've never been in Colonial Elite. Maybe I should do yeah. that as my next elite mission. Elite stream coming up, by the way. Main thing I miss I miss in Elite from Stars from playing Star Citizen. The two main things are one, this. Hold F, zoom in. I love to be able to zoom in. Like, for example, look at the city. Zoom in. I love to be able to do this, okay? It's so cool to be able to zoom in. Uh second thing I miss. Being able to get out of your ship when you're in space. Extra vehicular ass, like spacewalks basically. That's it. The rest, uh, you know, I quite like elite. You know, graphics and landing and atmospheric planets too, but... But those two are the main things that... I would like to see elite... Uh, borrow from this video game. Matt says, this company already has its Elon Musk. He's called Chris Roberts. Indeed. Well, I hope that... Uh, what is this? Is it the router? Thanks, Bill. Holy shit. Oh my god, my even router thing arrived early. So I'm gonna be able to maybe test to see if this will help with our internet connection. What shoes does Chris Roberts wear now that he's a multimillionaire? Does he change his shoes or does he keep wearing, you know, just new balances and... Uh, If I was a millionaire, I w wouldn't change a thing. I would just uh, give a lot of people a lot of money and... Uh, and... Uh, well, I'd probably travel with... Uh, if I had to travel, I'd probably travel a little uh, differently. Like, not, not jets or anything like that, but, uh, you know, business class. Not even first class. Whoa, a bunch of cadets. New Babbage, don't forget to bring your baggage. It's a new Babbage. Don't forget to bring your baggage. It's a new Babbage. Whoa. It's an interesting pose. Sorry, I have to take some pictures here. 
for the gram feature. Thanks, babe. How the hell did they deliver that today? It's really bad, the weather out there. Look at this, look at this, okay. Let me show it to the stream, hold up. Okay, start, you think it's bad out there, New Babbage? Okay, you think, you think this is bad? Let me try to show you. You think that weather's bad? Well, look at this. Remember, All right. Your belongings belong to you. Keep a careful watch of all personal items. A wireless transceiver? Here is what it looks like in real life. Remember, your belongings belong to you. Keep a careful watch. You can try that side too. It's hard to show, okay, but I'll, I'll try to put a picture on the gram. You're getting a trans wireless transceiver there as well. Uh, yeah, I'm having a... I don't know if it's called a transceiver, but I like that word. Uh, it's a wireless mm, modem, I think. Dude, where's my first person view? There. Dude, have you ever seen this movie? Dude, where's my car? Remember that movie, babe? Dude, where's my car? Ship rentals. Oh, no. Uh, ship uh, hangers there. Yippee ki yay weather over here. Yippee ki yay, mother trucker. We're going to uh, watch some Die Hard. All right, what should we try first? The Buccaneer, the Caterpillar, the Corsair, the Cutlass. Cutlass, no, because I've done that before. The Cutter. Ready to upgrade. Or the Herald. The the factory line has I think I'm going to go with the Cutter, the new one, because I heard it's a good sound, and I like good sound. Let's get this one. I claim the ship. I'll pay the expedited fee. And I would like the cutter retrieved, thank you. And get this thing, we're gonna fly out of New Babbage, get the hell away from this Arctic city. And go to the countryside and fly the ship. We get the heck away from the city in order to get a heck away from bad frame rates, okay. We do not want bad frame rates. We want good frame rates. I've had years of bad frame rates. They traumatize me. I can't take bad frame rates. That's why it's sometimes difficult for me to play this game in the cities. All right, here you go. This is the new ship. This costs, if you want to spend real money on this, this costs $45. It's uh, called a Drake uh, Cutter. Not the rapper, okay. Look. All right, let's try to make a meme while we're here. Um, Vasconcellos, can you please bring in uh, the World Wide Web uh, window? And uh, on the World Wide Web, Vasconcellos, could you please uh, look up uh, Drake, a uh, rapper, meme generator? Uh... 
Thank you, Vasconcellos. I really appreciate your help uh, in, the, in doing this uh, this sort of uh, shenanigans on the on stream here. Vasconcellos, could you also please uh, reduce the opacity on this um, on this uh, web window so you can actually see the Drake uh, cutter be behind the uh, kind of behind the. You know what I mean, like the wait. There you go. Thank you, Vasconcellos. Plus, it will, wait, okay, here we go. Let's go back to chat for a second. Um, should you like user terms? Wait. This is going to drive me nuts. Um. We have to think of a of a of a of a meme for this ship, okay? But Shuchir says your terms and conditions upon renting you are to agree to rent a ship for free if you imitate the engine noise of your own mouth. Okay, we will try to do that, Futura. Fog, halo, welcome, Fog. Uh, plus, it will hold a small vehicle. That sound. That, that's what I'm thinking about doing. This. I have an Aurora. I bought it for thirty real life dollars. This costs 45. I can. Star Citizen has this thing that I can uh, take the $30 from the Aurora, give it to them, and then pay $15 extra, play the difference, then they give me this little uh, shuttlecraft thing here. Nora says, dang, the Imperial Cutter got a massive downgrade. <laughs> I would give you an applause if I could order, but I'm using a PC keyboard there, so I don't have the keys that I have for shortcuts that I press the applause. I'm, I'm using a freaking Dell keyboard. Because it has this button here, it has the print screen button, and then I can press that and it takes a screenshot. If I don't have uh, the, my Mac keyboard, uh, for some reason Star Citizen doesn't recognize the screen, the, the, the key that should be the spring shot. So, okay. Um, so the, the text that he's like, no, I don't like this, that's, uh, that's going to say uh, Drake. Um, Drake and the text that we do like is going to be Drake. Is it Cutter? Drake, um, Drake Cutter. Okay. Uh, and we're just going to generate the meme, uh, right there. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. <laughs> this is, this is, I just typed that and it worked. All right. So, so here we go. I'm not a big fan of Drake. I don't even know, look. I never actually listened to his music, so I probably heard it like in a I don't know a department store or like a, a elevator, maybe even in Star Citizen. But I I never really know knew that it was Drake. I I do know I do know who Michael Jordan is. All right, he has an Air Jordan shirt, but I never really so I don't know if I don't like Drake or not. So that's not really true. But I'm just gonna should I do something else? What the Nora says, the Imperial Cutter. Let's let's go Imperial Cutter, okay? Let's go Imperial Cutter, Drake Cutter. There you go. I think that's better. Here's the here's the image link. All right. Let's leave it there. Thank you, Vasconcellos, for your help with that. Uh, with that. All right, let's get in here. Let's start to let's let's first I'm going to take a quick little break and uh and when I come back we're going to do a walk around of this thing and then we're going to get in it, we're going to take off, we're going to fly somewhere icy and we're going to land in nature, get away from the freaking city and uh, see what this thing sounds like. All right, that's what I'm uh, really interested in. Thank you Vasconcellos for bringing us the memes. <laughs> And Vasconcellos, one more thing. Could you please uh, put on uh, some flying toasters? I'm going to take a little break now uh, and uh, the back shortly. I will be right back. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at this wonderful uh, looking little uh, uh, super ship over here. Okay. I'll leave you with a view. Oh, there's like even a patrol over here. Hopefully, hopefully I won't die because I'm waiting here. 
during uh during this okay you never know Oh, Vasconcellos, uh, I meant the, uh, I meant the, uh, flying toasters, not, uh, we haven't bought the ship or anything, so I don't want the, uh, I don't want the, um, the, uh, the, the, the toasters, please, not the confetti, all right. Thank you. Be right back.
Then I'm going to set up the router. Fucking cold here, holy shit, man. Holy mo- <laughs> Think- <sighs> Yes, Vasconcellos, please, toaster's off and back shortly off. We're back. It is getting cold here in Michigan, people. I'm not used to this weather. Thanks, Futura. All right, let's do a walkabout on this thing. Um, okay, uh, it's about, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 meters long, I think. All right. It has these big thruster things, I assume. I assume that's the engine. Here, let's, uh, let's, can I, can I go prone here? Yeah, let's, let's crawl under here and take a look. Uh... All right, so there's the engine. There's big turbine things. Uh, that's another engine and thruster thing here. Looks like uh, there's access from this side. Let's take a look. Uh, no, that's not a. It has a. That's a little thruster. Looks like heavy type of armor. Couple of uh, Gatling gun looking things in the front. Three barrels each. Uh, kind of looks like a sort of trash truck from the front. This uh, has fuel ports. It has headlamps. It has even signaling lamps. I guess you could turn left or right so people know uh, what direction you're going. You know, maybe it's uh, for, you know, it's a bit of a shuttlecraft uh, transport for an away team to a, a inhospitable planet type vehicle. Looks like the only entrance is going to be through the back. Has some some green lights and some pretty uh, uh, sturdy legs, uh, like skis. One in the front, two in the back. The color of the cockpit glass is this yellowish thing. You can even tow something of this. You can attach uh, maybe a couple of uh, heavy-duty chains over there. That looks like a, a high-power lamp beam as well. And it has uh, component access. Maintenance should be performed by qualified personnel only. Use extreme caution if unit is damaged. Keep clear. Do not obstruct while in operation. Moving parts can cause serious injury or death. Okay, it's a little warning here. Um... Another thruster thing. You don't step on the thruster nacelle there. Maybe it's hot, it'll melt your Air Jordans. All right, let's try to open this thing. I assume, okay, here's the axis. Kind of dangerous. I mean, you, you, you have to press, you have to go under it to press the button, but you better step to the side or it'll probably fall on your head, I assume, let's see. Yep, there you go. It looks stupid and ugly. <laughs> Not a fan of the Drake cut cut cutter cutter or cutlass. Now I am confused. Cutter. I think. All right. Uh, where the where's the button to close it here? Oh! Oh, don't tell me it's gonna freeze now. If it freezes now, I'm done. Uh, oh! Coming back? Yes, almost froze on me. Oh, is this. What's the light thing? 
Oh, here. Yeah, sounds like, uh, like, uh, the, the, I like the little windows. You can actually see some, a little bit, the bat in the back. Sounded like, uh, the door. Let's open and close it one more time. Sounds like a proper machinery, like, a, a, a the back, uh, tailgate of an F-250 or something. A little rattly. There's one of the security personnel hanging out. All right. Uh, in here you have a bunch of stuff that I don't know what that's for. Then you have a bed. Uh, what is this? Uh, okay, you have the uh, inventory, and you have a. Uh, your uh, pilot's seat, the cockpit. <laughs> okay, you got a single stick uh, for. Uh, it has throttle control on the left there. Well, it looks like a throttle control and it has a stick. Uh, let's uh, get in touch. Uh, where are we again? New Babbage. Uh, New Babbage uh, local traffic control. This is Hypertex Yo in a Drake cutter. Request takeoff, please. These frame rates. You are clear to launch. All right, where is the power button? It's usually on the left here somewhere. Is this it? Canopy armor. What did that do? Did that armor come up with that thing? Oh my god, it's like a canopy armor. Like we're back in World War II here. Okay, uh, landing gear. Oh, no, we don't want that. Uh, headlights. Uh, how the heck do you turn this thing on? Maybe on the right hand side? Countermeasures, missiles, scanning sensors, uh, weapons, gimbal. Oh, here we go. Engine cruise control, enable proximately flight assist. Oh, there's a, quite a few clickable things in this cockpit here. Open exterior, lock, uh, G safe limiters, ESP cruise. So maybe now that all that stuff is clickable, spool quantum drive. Oh, look, has a little keyboard there. Uh, is it in the top that you turn the ship on? You can hit R for part two. Right, let's just hit R. Thanks. We're in. Left side of console, deploy switch or close window shutters for protection. Cool. Thanks, Fog. Launch clearance declines too stupid and not clean. Here it is, the Drake Cutter. Thank you, and please visit again. Where the heck am I pointing to? Oh shit, I was pointing to the ground, okay. One second, let me uh, disable the preview, got a few more frames. Let's just get the heck away from the city. Oh, you 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 cast a shadow, and there's like a light behind it, behind us or something. Oh, did I turn the? There's the cockpit light on or something. Oh, there's the engine. Okay, there's weapons. Scanning sensors. Headlight. Cockpit light. Not clickable. I want to turn off the cockpit light. Retack landing gear. Okay. That was cool. Nice sound.
very bright cockpit. I want to turn the cockpit light off. I was about to fall over laughing when I saw you just point straight down. Yeah, I, th I think I almost blew up, right? It sounds like a... Here you go, Futura. This is what it kind of sounds like to me. Light controls back by the door controls. Oh, I have to get up for the light controls. All right, let's land and to turn off the light. Okay. For the, in this ship, you have to land to turn off the light. Is there night vision in this? Uh... Oh, big f headlight. Look at that. Oh, I like that little ch -ch -ch before it turns on. That's pretty cool. Here, let's land by this uh, s this antenna thing here. I don't remember if there's night vision in uh, Star Citizen. This, these lights in the cockpit are killing my my natural night vision. So, uh, whoa, what's going on? I'm keeping flight assist on, okay. Man, the light just like illuminates like the fog and stuff and it just in the in the it's like a sort of snowstorm out there, kind of like an IRL here. Can't see anything. Let's just pick a spot and land. Bad weather. Very inhospitable place. Are these trees down here? I'm gonna turn the turn the lights on. Here we go. Oh, there are trees here. Oh, leaving armistice zone. Caution advice. Okay. Then you get coming down. We're down. Wow. Okay. Bad weather. Um, I'm just going to leave the ship part on. Or does it automatically power off when you get away from it? When you, when you uh, get away from the cockpit. Okay. Let's see. How the heck do you turn these lights on by the door? Oh, here. All right, light off. Oh, okay, now the lights are off. Nice, okay. Let's take a quick look outside. Let's double check if we have a helmet on. I want to see it uh, in its a more natural environment for this thing, uh, which is, I guess, uh, out in uh, the wild. We do not have a helmet on, so good thing we checked. Now we have a helmet. Let's see how long we can survive outside in this weather. 
and just in case there's something waiting for me out there, uh, let's uh, equip our sidearm. Here's a question. I have 30 ammo, but it says zero, I assume, uh, extra clips. Didn't I have a bunch of uh, clips? How come... Uh, here you go. I have all these clips for the arc light pistol battery. I'm holding, uh, I assume, the arc light midnight pistol. How come these clips don't show? Is it they have to put like in, in here or something? Not in the backpack, maybe? Put in the legs, maybe? Let's try that. Okay, so how do I equip them? I have to drag them to my... Like that? Onto your legs, okay. Still show 30 out of... Uh... To the 1, 2, 3, 4. When you hold them over your legs, there's a one, two, three, four thing. Ah, whoa, okay. Ah, so it actually, oh my god, it actually goes straight where... It actually appears on your, on your avatar, huh? That's pretty cool. I'm not, I, I don't see like a visual representation of it actually happening, uh... Anyway. Let's put one here and see. Alright, I'll just leave it like that. Not on that armor, okay. It has to be on the leg, huh? Oh no, it has to be on the core armor or Yeah, quite quite confusing to me this. Uh I'll put one on one. I'll put one on two. Oh, it changes the look of it. Maybe it's a little bugged out. Oh, copy that. Sorry, Rin. All right, now I have 90. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go outside. Oh, I better drink something. I am at 36. Uh... Oh hell, let's just go outside. Oh, here we go. It's really cold. Oh, I haven't even eaten them. Oh, popcorn, thanks. Sorry, people, I'm having a snack. Mm. Popcorn. Have a break, have a kick cut. Oh. Whoa. See, this is what I want in Elite. I want to land in atmospheric planets and I want this is awesome. Alright. This is where Star Citizen for me is the most promise. Look at this place. Oh, I can't drink because I'm, uh... <laughs> oh, her, her, her facial expressions are coming back. Maybe she's, the, the, the cold is, uh, is getting her to, uh... To wake up a little bit. Oh, copy, Rin. Coming. Sorry. Jesus, I'm gonna stay in here for a bit. Minus 50 degrees centigrade out there. Here, Ren, I'm coming to the Discord. And, and Fog, if you wanna join us, uh, if, if any of you wanna join my game, I'm, uh, send me a, an invite and I'll, I'll accept it. Uh, getting into the Discord, stand by. Mm -hmm. 
Rin, welcome. Good day. Thanks. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Awesome. I need to leave your stream. I'm going to uh, close. This is really good. I'm gonna need some popcorn, so I apologize. I'll try not to munch on the mic. Um, and now I'm gonna take my helmet off. And, um... And I'm gonna drink this thing before I... Completely, um... I'm actually going to, um... Take another small little break, because it'd be annoying if I'm eating on the stream. Um, but let me try to... An item action... Nope, um... Oh, I have to look down at my thing. It's so finicky. All right. Here you go. Drink. All right. It's not animating, but it's drinking. Um, I'll send you an in. Are you in game already? I'm getting in there. Since I reset, I have to remake the character. All right. Copy them. All right. That's fine. And um, I'm going to take a quick little break uh, to, to eat some of this popcorn. I'll be right back. Okay. And um, when I'm back, uh, we can try to meet up or something. right back. Thank you, Vasconcellos.
Hey, welcome back. Here, I'll, uh... Yeah, that's fine. Got to ask, but are you okay if I stream this on my stream too? <laughs> cool, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. Good. Uh, you want to invite us to your party? Yeah, just uh, right click on the on our names and it'll say invite to party. So you're on New Babbage? Okay, so we'll meet you there. I, I'm still at Ark. My god, this server is really choking from the IAE. <laughs> Yeah, not just the frame rate, but the input lag and everything. I don't know, at this point, might be all of them, but this one is actually completely full. No. Fly over to you. Bunker missions? Yeah, well, we can do the 890 jump mission possibly too. Assuming it's here. That one is usually better than bunker ones, at least in my experience, because it bugs out less. Yeah. Yeah, I generally don't go out wearing anything other than the undersuit and the, uh, Helmet, unless I'm planning to actually go and shoot somebody in the face with my. Oh, yeah. I even got some fancy armor that I'm afraid to wear because it was real money armor, and uh, if I die, I lose it, so. Um, not all of it, uh, most of it does, but like I kept random armors and weapons from the last wipes and my character reset thing, so I don't know.
Also, whenever you're taking missions to do stuff, make sure to grab the mercenary one that you get paid extra just for killing any bad guys. It It's like a an add-on mission thing. Like, it's not a mission itself, and you just take it and you get paid more for killing the dudes for your other missions, basically. Yeah, because you have a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. More guns, the better. Okay, my mic is back. Uh, it was on Discord only, and I apologize for that, but uh, here you go. W where do you all hail from? Mine's in my name. <laughs> Everything turned orange here because uh, I'm, uh, I'm wearing these, these shades, and it makes me happy because everything goes orange. Colored glasses, huh? <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> I swear it says, hey, protesting, this is lost forever. Please go back in time machine. Uh, I, I am sorry, Iceberg. Uh, I can't uh, travel back in time. I'm no uh, Hawking or Einstein or uh, the guy from Back to the Future. I forget his name. H.G. Wells. H.G. Wells. Uh, But doctor, I, s I don't remember his name. The doctor. The doctor, doctor from... Uh, who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the doctor... No, the doctor from uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, the... Oh, him. I was thinking of, like, Doctor Who doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm sorry that uh, I just came in here. I'm barging in, but... Uh, uh, Matt says I should come in, and I think uh, Matt wants to play GTA Laugh Attack. I keep uh, postponing it because uh, things happen. Spaceships are free to fly here. Uh, the internet connection gets bad. Uh, ice storms in IRL, etc. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get on my cockpit on my ship. The seat for that ship's down on the ground, so oh. you gotta go back to by the door and then click on the seat. <laughs> well, that's Whoa. Uh, this is a thing. Well, Trying to rent the Corsair, and I'm just falling through the uh, the ramp. Uh, sorry. Earlier today, I flew back to New Babbage, and. <laughs> I logged out for a minute because I had to go do something. Came back, logged back in, and each time I logged in, my guy, literally without me touching anything, went from the bed, jumped straight out the window. <laughs> I don't know if that was a clue that he didn't want to play or what. Did that twice. <laughs> my. My, co my connections in New York City, they tell me that uh, I should invest in this video game. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Uh, like, uh, you know, I have an organization. Uh, I work for, for, I've worked for different people, but now I have my own organization. Uh, you know, I have a little bit of money to burn. Do you think I should invest in uh, Imperial Cloud Games uh, or uh, the Citizen of the Stars or not, in your opinion, well, uh, Fog? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this much. I think just yesterday... 
imperial cloud or whatever it is made <laughs> over 20 million dollars 20 20 million dollars in one day yeah with this ship show yeah <laughs> hey is this a ship show or a shit show i guess it's a it's, it's yes. a ship the show the answer to that question is yes all right maybe i should invest I might need I might need a rescue. I might run out of quantum fuel. Where are you? What, oh, what, what's your position? I'm heading towards Microtech. All right. Let me know. I don't know if this thing flies uh, far in space, but uh, yeah, it's uh, got a huge gas tank. It does. Okay, great. So if you tell me, uh, do I? Wait, I should have your position now, right? Because I just. Uh, well, I'm still in quantum right now. All right. Let me know if you need it. Make it Matt says, don't invest in that stupid, ugly spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rental. <laughs> it's a rental spaceship. <laughs> uh, I'm trying out the Herald right now. Oh, uh, I th yeah, I think I, re I rented it too, so I could try that one next. Are you, the are you near Byron? I am in New Babbage at the moment at the expo. I'm trying to find that cutter. All right. It's very green, this cockpit. Reminds me of Florida. Can I just... I have to pick a mission in order to deliver a box, or can I just pick up something I see somewhere and then it'll tell me? You're on the dark side of the planet. Copy. If you, uh, I think if you pick a mission for a box, It'll tell you where to pick it up. Yeah, it should. All right. And are there like roaming AI? They like roam around randomly and attack you both on foot and in spaceships, or is that not a thing yet? Not on foot. Spaceships depends on where you are. All and right. They don't really roam around, but they spawn on top of you sometimes. All right. And and uh, on foot no, just just spaceships. Yep. Copy. So what's the eight ninety jump? Is that is that like uh, we go and steal some basketball shoes from somewhere? Uh, it's a mission. I I think you could have picked one up since it's origin day. Fly oh! If you wanted to. Are you flying, Tex? Yes, I am. Oh, I was going to say, why do you keep moving closer and then farther away and closer and farther away? Uh. Oh, wait, is that you? Whoa, are, are, you, are you here? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm going to land. Oh, Rin is right here. Wait, where, where are you, uh, uh, Fog? 13 kilometers away from you. All right, I'm going to land right where I'm at. You can meet on oh, the good, ground. you made it. Awesome. Yeah, barely. I got plenty of impulse fuel, though. Landing Gyrios coming down. And they're going to say Cheerios to the ground.
Headlights coming on. And we're gonna hope that the landing gear is strong. I'm down. Computer, let's shut down this situation. Uh, I'm pressing R. Uh... Another way to do night vision text on your ship? Yep. By shooting your sensor. Your scanner. By, by, by turning off your scanner? No, by using your scanner. Oh, using. Oh, really? Oh, uh, is that G? Or tab? I'm not sure. Oh, here you go, tab. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah, that worked. Hey, Matty! Do you have a ship that uh, you would recommend I do invest in instead of this uh, Drake's ship? MSI. An MSI? The Constellations. How, how, they are uh, much more expensive. How many dollars does one of those cost? A hundred and something. What is the most ex which one you get? Is the most expensive ship like thousands of dollars or something? Oh yeah, there's one on display here that's fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, the Kraken. Wow. Okay, I did see that. It's like a carrier or something, right? Yeah, it is. It's a capital ship. Oh, Lawlog is right here. <laughs> Hey, Fugs, a little foggy out here. Nice ship. Yeah, it's ugly as hell. It's ugly than yours. <laughs> All right. I'll take a look inside your ship. Go ahead and take my ship for a ride if you want. Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> Wow, survival estimate at 18 minutes only at this with this weather. I have two engines in the back of this thing. Yeah, I'll get I'll get in the ramp and we can take a screenshot. Or just out here. Hold up. Um Sorry, is, I've been lost as hell trying to find the stupid oh elevators. no worries i know how this game is just running around in circles in iae <laughs> wow look at this weather man and man i'm sorry wow. that you know i can't do a yeah, full no. on a <laughs> yeah i almost slipped i think it's icy fog watch out it's icy yeah i slipped down the ramp <laughs> <laughs> it's a little icy over there oh here we go this is pretty cool all right now i have to zoom in this is so confusing this and now let me try to ch turn my person around just a really weird really weird uh pose i don't know if there's a way to, to i don't know if there's a way to speed up the camera views Pretty atmospheric though, huh? Yeah, this video game has good atmospheres, like this uh, restaurant over uh, when they lived to Italy was really Italian, you know? Yeah, Hyper, did you even see the, um, the origin ones, or did you just see the Drake? I think I, uh, I, I, I think I, I think I rented all of them. I, uh, Wait, you just rented them from the Drake one, from what I saw, right? Or did you go to the Zenith Hall as well? I th was was the Zenith one the there's one that look has like a big tail. A big tail? Like a big uh, uh, vertical stabilizer. No, that's Drake. Oh, then I, I I probably didn't even go to the other one. What can I say? Origin I like. Origin is the super hyper luxury fancy ones. 
All right. I'm more of a, you know, I'm a, I'm a simple kind of guy. I don't really, uh, luxury for me. It's, you know, if you guys rent one, I'll ride in yours. Uh, I like, I, I kind of like my, uh, oh. Oh, look at the sky. There's like a sort of a space station up there. You guys see that? That is a space station. Yeah. Holy shit, look at that. I think I'm gonna die. I have 14 more minutes. Get back in your ship. Yeah, get back All in right. your ship, man. <laughs> how, how, how much longer before you? <laughs> how much longer before you get out of a uh, new Babbage run? I'm uh, on my way. <laughs> I know it takes a long time because it's Star Citizen. I think I spent more time playing this game in the walking the hallways of places like New Babbage than actually, you know, doing missions and flying a ship. Yeah, I was just trying to pick up the the rentals here, but I'm on my way out. Copy. We could probably fly back and land and all get into one ship. Yeah, there you go. Sh should we That'd do that? Be the best idea, probably. Should, should we do that? Okay. Yeah, rather than having us all try to land together and then <laughs> do something. All right, all right. Got a nice screenshot of uh, of uh, fog taken off here. It's like that ship. The, what is that called? The 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 no the cutlass. No, I'm the cutter. A herald. I'm a herald. Okay. It looks like they had one engine, but then uh, sales people came and said, "No, uh, we can't sell this. It, we need to say two engines." And then they just yeah, plonked an extra engine on the top, just because the sales department forced them to do it. You know. It's supposed to be really fast. Nothing against sales departments. I know they're important, but. Uh, so if we're gonna go on one of those uh, FPS missions, I'm gonna have to drop by somewhere to get some ammo first, apparently. I'm gonna have to get a gun, because I lost my, uh... I, I lost have, like, mine. eight guns and not a single bullet. Oh, so yeah, we need, we you, need when ammo, you basically? you reset your character, all your perishables usually go away. Yep. So many red lights in this ship that I'm flying. So, okay. I mean, it is Drake, so, you know, you gotta have the Welcome to the Rebellion lights going. Oh, is, is, th is that the lore? Drake is like a, a rebellion yeah, or something? Yeah, they, they don't officially support criminals, but their ships are cheap and functional, so criminals happen with it. Oh. And, yeah. Okay, sounds, sounds up my alley. And they've turned into a fight the power type of thing, so... All right. Yeah, they the, did a video thing on it uh, a couple days ago, if you wanted to see. They want to stick it to the man, basically. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, is, so each, like, shipmaker has, like, lore attached to it, basically? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's one Whoa. thing they've done a lot of in this game, is lore. Cool. Did you just fire something? Fun. No, I'm trying to find the damn spaceport. I think you're going opposite right way from there. it. It's over here. I'm just following you. I missed the train. <laughs> Is there what? Can I pick you up? Do you want me to come pick you up? Let me come pick you up. Rin, I'm coming. I'm 15 clicks out. Well, I'm still inside. You can't. <laughs> Is there a way for you to access uh, outdoors? I mean, there is a way to get to outdoors from indoors, but you can't land your ship anywhere near there, and I'd be dead before I got to your ship. All right. Oh, okay, it's New Babbage. That's right. It's not like, uh, well, I don't even know. I think in those other ones, you there's probably like a, a limit to where the ships can go or something. Yeah. All right, like, I'll just go land. There is a spot where you can spawn land vehicles and you can walk outside and stuff, but I mean, I guess I could spawn my APC and drive to you. All right, uh, up to you. But I guess the I guess the easiest then would be to meet at new uh, the spaceport. All right, I can't wait to get away from this uh, low FPS uh, Arctic hell. 
I don't mind the, the Arctic weather, but at night uh, it's kind of scary. And now I can't get back on the train, and I got off early. Son of a... <laughs> Thank you, Star Citizen. Maybe it would be easier for you to spawn your vehicle and drive to it. I'll park somewhere. <laughs> Pick yeah, you that, up. Do you want to try that? Great if I could actually get there. I, oh, I'm but trying to get ah, to the spaceport. Your vehicle's at the spaceport as well. Well, you can't spawn it unless you're at the spaceport. All right. You have to use the spaceport terminal to spawn a vehicle. <laughs> All right, another or, well, chicken any, and yeah, egg. Uh, <laughs> New Babbage oh, spaceport. Hey, Hypertech zero. Permission for landing, please. That's a solid copy, new Babbage Spaceport uh, Space Traffic Control. We're proceeding to the assigned landing bay. Over. I have a radar lock on me all of a sudden. Whoa. I'm trying to find my assigned, uh, le oh, I think it's on six there. Yeah, I'm having trouble too. Oh, maybe it's over the other side. Ah, oh, it's on the other side. I'm on the opposite side of it. Interesting. I don't think I've ever landed through one of these, uh, vertical hangar bays. I always come in through the, through the side the ones. ones. We're down. I'm down. Uh, I have managed to almost get to the spaceport. Nice. I hope. Is it oh I to shut off the engine? You. You. You powers down your whole ship. Okay, you copy. Thank you. But we'll also power it up as well. Awesome. Well, it doesn't power everything on. Do you think, do you think, uh, they called, was it a marketing thing to call this ship maker Drake so that people would make Drake emo, uh, memes, or? I doubt it. No. Uh, that's an old meme, right? But maybe. I mean, and Drake is also a flying lizard, so, you know. Oh, is it? Oh, interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Flying lizard, man, the frame rate is so bad here. Yeah. Dragon. It's basically a male dragon. It's also a male goose, so you know there is that. A Drake is a male goose as well. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Oh hey Kansas. So, oh I should. There's uh, not somewhere to buy ammo here, is there? Oh, that's not a good the question. Space station, no. Ah, okay. Yeah, go to the Currently car. streaming with what? Rin the Katata. Uh, I meant on New Babbage. Oh yeah, you can go to center, uh, center mass, yeah. Okay, then let me go get some damn ammo real quick. And then we'll get a ship and go. And huh. we'll see if we can do the 890. How, how do you get them to, to store your ship? Same you, way uh, you retrieve it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm 
I'm gonna go buy ammo, I guess, as well. Where are you? Um, I'm still in my hangar. I'm trying to find the uh, oh, the okay. elevators. Oh, I see you coming. I was gonna say I see Ren, but I don't see you. Now I see you. Okay. Where the heck are the new Babbage? There it is, right in front of me. NBIS terminal, here I come. Hey Maddie, I'm sorry I couldn't talk too much today. I had, you know, other guests here. We got Rin, uh, we got Fog, uh, so Jimmy, uh, he'll talk to you a little bit more in the next time, all right? Matt, and I hope you're having a good day over there in Blighty and uh, lots of love from uh, across the Atlantic. Over and out. Hey! Let's see if I remember how to do this. God damn it, the timer for the commons train is like 40 seconds off or so. It was at zero for a while and then it started over, so then I stopped paying attention and turned around and it's at 40 seconds. Did, did I bow? <laughs> yeah, you did. How do I do the emotes? Uh, press F, hold right click, and then click, uh, I think, uh, Player and then I think uh, there's emotes. I got a cheer and a dance. Uh, attention. Yeah, my, I don't see my character doing it. My character just keeps blinking and doing. I don't know if it's something of that face over IP thing that they have. I thought I disabled it, but maybe not. All right, should I go get ammo as well, or or can you guys spare? Uh, well, I need a gun too because my gun is up on the space station. I could go to the space station, get my gun, and meet you up there. You don't or actually, have to go all the way to the station. If you just get to the local space, you should be able to access the inventory there or get near it. Oh, I don't even have to land. No. Really? Interesting. Least, okay. They've changed that. All right. Then what I'll do is I'm gonna store this ship. I'm gonna try a different one. And I'm gonna head to the station to uh, get my rifle, and I'll meet you where you where you like. Let's try the let's try the Drake, the steel, cutlass steel. I think I think. I've what, I've what I've flew one of these before. I, I am unimpressed with any of the uh, cutlasses, but so what? What mission? I don't understand the mission that we're the eight ninety jump. If that's one of them that's available. My should I? Who, who should pick the mission? Doesn't matter. I think the higher your rank, the higher the missions are. Mm, yeah, that's for the bounty missions and stuff. But... I'm new to the game, dude. I don't know. Uh, 890 jump is a space mission that you From board the thing. Welcome to the new Babbage Interstellar Space. You board a spaceship? Please visit us again. Goodbye. Welcome. Yeah, to I the found the mission. Um, All right. I accepted it. For the latest updates. Do you have to share it with us, or we just? Uh... To, yeah, I'll have to share it with you guys. I'm again. drunkenly trying to get Goodbye. ammo right now. All right, no worries. Just when, you, when you're ready to share this, just let us know so we are ready to click one of those little square uh, bracket things. Yep. What ship should we take? Well, uh, if we're all going together, we could take one of yours or take my Connie or take an 890 jump for all that matters. Um, how about a Corsair? I don't know. Is that a multiple person thing? It says uh, Expedition, a uh, crew for. Oh, then yeah, we can take that. All right, I'm going to get it. Um, Your insurance claim has been set. Thank you. By the way, I didn't make this all this money myself. I was just given it to me after on the last time I logged in that they had to say sorry for having wiped something. I didn't even know anything about it. So I just found myself of, I don't know, the money. All right. Wait, no, that's the cutter, sorry. Um, Drake Corsair expedited. 
Jeez, expedited Time takes four minutes? Why not rest oh, okay. Okay. Well, look, there's someone carrying, like, a little penguin thing here. Is that the Twitter mascot? Be sure to or is it like a little... What the heck is that? Yeah, so quite a few. These people like heavily, they have like some heavy armor. Or maybe this is medium armor. Is your armor heavy, Fog? I think I'm, my chest and helmet are heavy, but my arms and legs are medium. All right. I have to take a look at what armor I've got, but yeah, I want to have heavy if I can. All right. Are you, is it like armor that if you, you can get one shot at if you get hit like in the head or something? Or? Uh, it used to be pretty freaking close, but yeah. All right. With heavy armor usually. All right. Oh, we got departures here. Check in delayed on time. Look at that. You want to go buy some armor? Oh, I think I'm good. Unless uh, you think I should. Uh, should I should I get in the ship? Well, I'm waiting for the ship. Actually, I, I ordered it, but it was like three minutes away or something. And then I, I guess I'll go into the ship and uh, start uh, explore it a bit. And uh, Thank you. two minutes um, left. Please visit us again. For the latest updates on ship availability and gate assignments, please use one of the conveniently located terminals. Did you have fun of anti Stasi today, uh, Fung? Yeah, I did actually. Nice. Good. Nice. Yeah, I heard you guys got that factory, but it kept, they kept sending QRFs. Yeah, it's it's three helicopters at one point. Yeah, it's really hard because it, you're like right at the beginning, and in the beginning, it's really hard to hold anything. You it's you really because it's a guerrilla simulator, so you basically want to do like hit and run attacks, stuff like that. Um, it's very hard. They, they send everything they have, but but every every soldier you take out and and every vehicle you destroy does affect things because it takes it away from the pool that they have available. So if you just oh, no, I shot down at least three helicopters, three Hellcats, and I know Katura shot down like three more while we were on. I'm sure he did more before I got on. Nice. Yeah, it's a, I like the game mode a lot. Talking about armor here. For people that are not familiar. Oh, now that guy is holding the little penguin thing. It's a penguin of a little skateboard or something. Snowboard. Snowboard. All right, let me check the the ship. Now everyone, everyone waiting here. Drake Corsair waiting to deliver twenty seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Retrieve. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Sure I think this kind of looks like an Imperial shuttle thing or something from Star Wars universe. Hangar 12, uh, Fog. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's a big ship.
There's a turret on the top. Looks like those wings. Oh, look at the amount of is those bombs or missiles? It's a big thing. I think those are missiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's sixteen missiles. This thing packs. Yeah, that's quite a ship. Man, it has a turret on the side too. It has four like laser things. It has it has three turrets. This. Jeez, like a brimming with weapons. This thing. You'd think that maybe they would give you some personal weapons if you bought something this expensive. Ramp axes, here you go. No, they don't. Alright. Turn the light on. Jeez, spacious. Wow. And we're gonna, the plan is to wait for you, right? Uh, floodlights. Whoa. It's pretty cool. To wait for Rin, right? I'm gonna take a look around. Let's turn on the room night. Emergency. Can you click on emergency? No. I like the soundscape in this ship. Gravity generator. Do they have functionality now that if you like shoot up the gravity generator and you're in space, then uh, it goes into like zero G and stuff like that? Or is that planned? That's like that it would be cool. Drake interplanetary. Uh Little bunk bed. It really looks like a navy ship, this. This, I guess, is the turret. Yeah, that's one of your side turrets. Check it out. The other side turret. Wow. I cannot believe they made $20 million in one day. That is nuts, dude. A lot of people must be excited about this. I don't know if I can power this up from here. Probably can't power it up unless uh, you have the cockpit power is on. Wow. Alright, here's the cockpit. Uh... Oh, has a little fan like the hind. <laughs> wow, this is pretty neat. I assume the wings will be able to um, twist out, or maybe they're just. This is just the way it is. Looks a little odd with them like this. It's the way it is, I think. Kind of looks like a like a ship in a aircraft carrier with the wings uh, folded, you know. Oh, you, you, you managed to get power to the turret. Nice. Dude, the turret is totally a, a Star Wars walker. Mm hmm Yeah, right to the left of the radar screen in front of you when you sit down. It's the power. Got it. All right. Should we take off and fly about a bit? And, uh... How are you doing, Ren? Yeah, I'm trying to get the damn armor on. 
All right. All right, let's take off. Um, maybe I think I'll, I'll go get my guns. And maybe you meet us up there or... Because I also may have to take a break for dinner soon. Sure. Um, yeah, I can meet you uh, over there. All right, I think it's at... Uh, let me already set up the course before I do anything else here. Um, actually, sky, Skyline. Uh, we're in Microtech. And I think it was the L1 or the L2, I always forget. Shallow Frontier Station, I think that's where it was, yeah. Alright. And now I'm going to, again, talk to, uh, New Babbage Space Traffic Control. This is Hypertex here requesting takeoff from Hangar 13. Engines coming on. Don't think they heard me. Or we didn't click on the right thing. Server. Mm, maybe the service two four or something. <laughs> the conversation has ended well. Yeah. Can you lie down and sleep while this is in the hangar and appear here? Or not a thing probably. You are clear to launch. Oh clear to launch. Okay, here you go. Do the external view when you bring your gear in. Is it pretty cool? I'm trying to go to external standby. Um, reset. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, the back is still open. <laughs> Can I close it from here? Yeah, let me get out. If There's another ship right behind me. Kind of looks like a yacht or something. Thank you. And please close it, close it. I can do it, probably. Let me see. Okay. You got it? Just turn the turret. It's not doing anything. No, hold on. All right. I'll just hover here in case, because uh, I think when I when I when I move now and you're not like sat down and uh, you sometimes get thrown around. Stuck on all the rails. I see you. That's so cool. You have your light on. Awesome. Thank you. All right, heading back to the spaceport now. Well, now he's coming to the spaceport. <laughs> uh, what it could do is, uh, I could lie down here and log off, and you you fly you fly this, and you guys keep going. I'll join after dinner. Should we do that? Well, I'm gonna do dinner here in about 30 minutes. So. Okay. Yeah, here's probably gonna be an hour, but I have to help out a bit. And uh, whoa. There's a ship here flying with us. Formation Iron uh, Side X. Cool. Locking on. Just taking a look. Yeah. 
That's you sharing the contract. Uh, okay, yeah, travel sorry, to 890 I, jump. I to Copy. Talk. Yep, oh, 890 nice jump story. is close by. Yeah, it's just thin space orbiting here. Do you have extra weapons you could share with me, Ren, by any chance? I've got some pistols and a grenade launcher, but I don't have any ammo for them. Okay. How about... I've got, I've got a machine gun you can use. I can do another half hour, I think. How about, um, I'll, I'll travel to the space station and, um, get my rifle. I'll just get close to it, especially if I don't have to land. And, uh, and I'll come back and we'll give this a quick shot since it's so close. I thought we'd have to go to another star system or something, but if it's just 180 clicks from, uh, from, uh, New Babbage, then, uh, we're good. I'm good. So keep going. Very odd ship this because I thought that the the wings would come would uh maybe there is a way to twist the wings but based yeah, on just the look sure of it yeah. they're supposed to go down yeah let me see uh maybe K for K for a Vita or whatever no that was your engines let me see the controls here standby. They were supposed to go down when your landing gear went up. Yeah. But I mean, looking at the at the actual wings from the outside, I. You're coupled. G safe parameters. What is ESP again? All right. Since y'all are already up there, I'm just gonna take my eye on. All right. Try hitting me. Try doing the landing gear again. All right, landing gear coming down. Landing gear is down. Now try bringing it up. Landing gear coming up. Weird that the wings aren't going down. But just looking at basically the mechanism here, hold up. Oh yeah, it does. It does have like a hinge thing, right? Maybe it's a weapon thing. I have to like activate weapons. Yeah, it, do, it does have a hinge there that it looks like it would bend down. They do bend down. It, okay. I mean, your left wing is kind of in a Y shape, and your right wing is just a straight. Okay, K is Vito. could google it but uh let me take another look at the cockpit here quantum drive exterior lights uh landing gear headlights wings wings found it there you go now it looks now the ship's looking better What's that thing that stays up? Oh, that's so... Oh, my God. Okay, so the... So the oh, it's a symmetrical design. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Wow. Okay. Odd. Surprising ship. All right, I'll do one more screenshot, and then we can... Uh, we'll head up. Looks like a Klingon bird of prey from certain angles. The right side. Pretty 
pretty cool. Alright. Space station's right above us, I think. Yep, to your left, 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 to your left. There you go. I don't know if, actually, I set the course to it. The cor the one where I have a gun is uh, the other one, actually. It's, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, that is the 890 jump. Okay, so it's this one here. So this is the shallow whatever. Let's see. No, that's Port Tressler. I'm gonna... A lot of course, uh, skyline. The, the course is already set. Oh, maybe. Oh, I, I probably have it on my on my radar here. I'm getting just confused by this. I'm pretty confused by this um, cockpit. I don't see the uh, maybe because the radar is uh, is a different style. I think the one that's squared with the arrow, that's going to be the mission. Okay. Is that what it says? Yeah, that's the 890 jump. Okay. I'm looking for the... So there's two arrows going up. Maybe that one there. MICL1, I think it's that one. No, that's far away. Hold up. Check I'm, your plotted, plotted course. See what it says. I just... I just... MICL1, yep. That's the first jump. Okay, so that's correct. So that's 4 million kilometers. All right. Let's try it. Jumping. Whoa, frames. Hopefully getting away from new Babbage will fix that. Oh yeah, I hope so. Because everybody and their grandma is checking out the ships this week. Yeah. Man, 20... 20... Million, I, that is hard to believe. Actually, wow. I think one of my guys posted it. Let me see here. Let's see. Go down here. This year, they have made 86.5 million. That is nuts, dude. Oh, I hope they're putting it to good use and uh, they get a, a, a stable... Uh, a stable uh, 1.0 at some point. I mean, it feels like it's getting more stable. Oh, still uh, 30,000 clicks to go. Stand by. I lost my uh, mouse. Maybe I shouldn't have spoken so soon about. Uh... I lost mouse control for the ship. Whoa. I don't know why, but I totally lost mouse control. Mouse, mouse control for the ship. Controls, mouse. Well, yeah, and then just go back into the game and see if that got it going. All right. I mean, I, I can't, I, I can't fly. But I think I, I think I'll be able to jump to this thing. Maybe we should just switch over. You take over the piloting if you want. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna try to stand up. Let's see if I get mouse control back. Yeah, 
Do you want? Do you want to fly? All right. So, Fine. um, scroll lock apparently makes your mouse control and flight not work. Oh, scroll lock. I yeah, I just found that out because that's my push to talk for Discord. Right. <laughs> um, so as I'm taking off, I held that and I couldn't pinch up. So yeah, that was a problem. Oh, hold up. You guys still there? I'm still yeah. here. I okay. pressed a button with a little moon on my keyboard because I'm using a keyboard I don't usually use because it has print screen that actually works and the, and, it, yeah. and it put the computer to sleep and now I'm back, I think. Oh, nice. But Star Citizen... Okay, so we're going to... MC oh, okay. One, one. Yeah, and uh, I think it's a shallow something station. But your weapons were at Port Tresler. No, I think they were at that shallow something station, weren't they? No, you bought them at Port Tressler. Did I? You bought them after you got here. And then you went down to the thing, yeah. The, oh, that was at Port Tressler? I thought yes. it was a shallow something or other. Nope. <laughs> Shit, okay. Hello, so Iceberg. Still up, man. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Um. Anyways. Give me one second, I'm gonna see how long I have before, uh, before, uh, before dinner time, and I think I have to help out of some stuff, um, and I'll be right back. Alright. Uh, Fog is in command of the ship now, I'll be right back, people. I guess it is Saturday, Iceberg, you're probably, uh, f uh flying, uh, um, and let me, let me add his, uh, uh starring. I'm gonna go to the beacon and see if Fog. there's anybody potsing around it that I can kill real quick. Fog is one. And streaming Rindy Katata. Alright. There's a cutlass. Oh, half of 40, 38 and minutes past cuts. midnight? Alright. And thanks again, Icebird. I will put it to good use. I'll probably give some of it back to the stream. Um... I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Ship's yours, Fog. Whatever you want to decide to do. I'll get us to the fort, hopefully. All right. I can just be an observer and, and take photographs while you guys have a shootout with uh, the AI. That's fine, too. <laughs> I'll be right back. What the hell is to change the gimbal? I'm having trouble uh, finding this fort. Do I need to go back to... Gee. Having trouble finding the what? Port Tressler? Yeah. It's at Microtech. Okay. So it's... Oh, have... that's Is right. This ship, I can't right? unlock the gimbal. Oh. Uh, no, it should be right above New Babbage. Oh, there it is. I'm sitting here in a frickin' ion wondering why I can't turn the gimbal on. Why is it not giving me my destination points? Oh, it does that sometimes. That's a pain in the ass. Come on. Hit. The only thing it's shown me with the quantum drive spooled is you. Well, you could come to me and help. <laughs> if you want. Where are you at? What are you doing? Fighting the dudes by the 890 jump. Ah. I thought you weren't supposed to hit that. What? Weren't supposed to hit who? I'm confused. Thank you for the hydrate and head pass and throwing stuff at me, Ben Tim. <laughs> Four million clicks out. All right, guys, I'm uh, I'm back here, but uh, I am gonna have to pause for dinner now. Okay. So um, <laughs> I'll be back later. If you're still playing, I try to rejoin this, you later this on. This will be interesting. I I yeah. I wish I didn't have to pause right now. So yeah, it's too bad. Sorry. 
But thanks, Ren. And thanks, Fog. Yeah. yeah that was a lot sure. of fun. What'll be interesting is what happens when you log out and I'm in your ship. Oh. Yeah. I, I can just... Do you want me to just leave the stream on? And, uh, I mean, leave, leave the game on? I can just leave it on. I won't, I won't get out of it. And maybe, well, uh... That's a bad idea think... to fly this ship at this. <sighs> Okay, and, all right, I'll, I'll just leave. I'll just leave the game on. This is what I'll do, Fog. I'm just gonna leave the 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 freaking stream on. Because so uh, so uh, you're in charge. Uh, uh, if something happens, I'll 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 blame hey, Fe Future. It. Whoa! I just fell. <laughs> I'll blame Future, uh, Sheepa, and Galaxia Cat because they're my moderators. I'm, just, I'm oh. joking. <laughs> Have a good and nice spread. I'll I'll be back later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave the stream on for a bit. If I come back and uh, I'm blew up or something, then I'll then I'll there stop it. All right, I'll try and get you back to a port before I log out of here. Oh uh, and minutes, so. yeah, don't worry. Hey, Galactic Cat is there. <laughs> I'm joking, Galactic Cat. Um, I'm in the middle of a fight, buddy. <laughs> um, trying to scan me while I'm freaking fighting? Are you shitting me? All right, I'll give a ship a... Come on, you shit die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and now I've got a fucking criminal thing. <laughs> because I didn't halt. Seriously? Um, we're, we're gonna. I guess uh, we're 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 piloting the right type of ship for criminals, right? So. Uh... Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, we're in the Drake. <laughs> All right. Should should I sit down on this? Uh, here, I'll, I'll enter the co-pilot seat. That uh, then uh, I won't. Why don't, just lay, why don't you lay down in your bed? That way, if I log oh. off, maybe you'll. You'll be in this. Log back into the ship. Yeah. Okay. That that's a good idea. Oh, is it? Is it oh, this is a turret. The heck is this? It's a turret. What up? I'm trying to get to you, Ren. You're still 1,500 away. You. Yeah, I can't hit the broadside of a barn with this thing. This was a terrible idea. <laughs> I used to be pretty decent with this ship, but Jesus, I'm rusty. And then I can't believe that little shit decided he needed to scan me while I'm in the middle of a firefight. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. I've never had that happen before. I don't generally show up out in the middle of nowhere. Are you on the ground? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm in space. <laughs> little shit decided to... Well, was it an AI or a player? <laughs> yeah, the AI cops decided they needed to scan me as I'm in the middle of a firefight with two oh, AI cops. I think they're corrupt. Yeah, and because I didn't stop when he told me to, I got crime stat. <laughs> I became a criminal because of that. Jesus. I'll do a few more screenshots here before I log off. Yeah. Is it, crime is is it fun? The criminal. Uh, whoa, starting to get a uh, burning on reentry. It's a pain here. in the ass because when you die, you get get sent to prison. Oh, you got that prison thing, right? It, it is a pain and in the, the butt. the prison thing is freaking broken, so there's that. Oh, so it doesn't... Crime doesn't pay in this uh, at the moment. Not at the moment. I mean, if you can do the thing to get yourself out of it, it might, but... Oh, what the fuck else is shooting me now? <laughs> oh, the heckin' cop is shooting me. Great. I'm, I'm Just the... what I fucking needed. I'm in the co-pilot seat, but I have no clue if I can shoot guns or something more, uh, fog. I don't know if there's a button I need to press to turn on the weapons. Was it O or something? It said weapons were online, so I don't, I don't, I have no idea. I got joysticks. I don't know. Uh, actions, ship systems, uh, vehicle, weapon systems, uh, Jimbo mode, uh, remote turret, enter remote turret. Oh! 
Oh, I'm in a turret. Okay, let's let if you get to Rin, we can fire turret. Uh, I I I I'm on the turret. Oh no, he's shooting at just everybody. Okay. I'm trying to get to him. All right. Well, that guy is gonna be dead from that ship spinning like that. Holy shit! Can you shoot our own ship with a turret? It doesn't let you, right? Uh, no, you can't shoot your own ship generally. All right, good. You can hit yourself with Just your own missiles, though. Really? Oh. Yeah, okay. that's fun. I've blown myself up with my own missiles. <laughs> Jeez. This is pretty awesome, the view from this uh, turret. Is it a is it a police ship you're fighting? Not the one thing I'm shooting now. I'm not gonna shoot the police ship. As soon as I kill this last enemy, I'm gonna fuck off out of here and. All right, I'm gonna get off this and I'm gonna try to lie down. This commodity oh, yeah, price right. alerts that it keeps it keeps alerting me. Surrender so you can kill me. Oh, here you go, bunk bed. 1,500 meters away from you. Well, yeah, you're probably on the ground, aren't you? No, I'm above oh. you. Oh, okay. Whee. I laid down, but I can't uh, sleep. Maybe they don't let you sleep on ships you rent or something? No, you can sleep on it, but... I mean, it'd just be log out is sleep. Yeah, that, that's yeah all when sleep you log is. out, you go to sleep. Ah, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go lie down. And then I'm gonna press escape, or do I have to hold that inner thought and it would appear? I don't see it. Okay, cool. Now, let me <laughs> get the flock out of here because I need to go and put my shit somewhere. So I don't lose it. Um... Something close that I can go to. Oh, this is great. Perfect, yeah. Uh-huh. Let's go to Port Tresler. That what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Star citizen. Alright. Ooh, we're, we're approaching. Do you see Rin? Look at the nice little meadow down there. I'm gonna land down here so you can I'll go find a rack and we can log out. All right. Um, I I don't see the log out message when I lie down here. When I I look up, I can't. Uh... Um, well, you'll have to do the escape. Oh, the escape will, will should work as well. Oh, that's what happened. I turned off my engines and I'm sitting here trying to figure out why the flip I can't go anywhere. Looks like a nice little red uh, tree up there. Oh, it's very nice and colorful, this foliage. Oh, rock to your left. Uh, yeah, there. No. Nope. Nice touchdown. Not close enough. Okay, so... Dude, look at the... Off. Nice landing. Uh, nice flying uh, fog. This ship sounds a little too quiet for me, I find. This rack, wherever this it is. This is gonna be a thing. Um, okay, I have lied down, so you can log off now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, all right. I'm just doing a quick screenshot and um, and I'll do that. All right, escape, quit game, exit to menu. Yep, all right. All right, I will call it a stream now. Uh, if you want to keep uh, seeing what's going on, please go and check out Rin, the cat, yeah. catato, catato, catato. Prison arc, basically. All right. <laughs>
I'll probably be back later. Fog, always a pleasure, man. Uh, Rin, yep. always a pleasure. I'll try to hook up with you guys Tuesday night. Cool, awesome, right. man. See y'all then. See Bye. you soon. Thank you, Icebird. Thank you, Galaxic Cat. Matt, thanks uh, for bringing in Jimmy. I'll try to do more Jimmy uh, in the next one. Try to get back to Microsoft Flight Simulator yeah. too. Thank you for Future Light, Nora. Uh, thank you very much to for uh, coming by and hanging out. Always appreciate it. I will try to get to DCS uh, later tomorrow as well. I need to fly and do some flying with Mort and Nora. It's been a long time, and I had a I managed to get DCS working again of my controls. Oh, seven Galaxia. Thank you so much. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this for the raid. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful uh, rest of your day if I don't see you again later. I'll probably be back later. Peace out.